Shaq, do the new intro. Hey. Hold up, bro. Would you record me? Hey, man. man. <laughs> no, say. <laughs> you can't. 14, oh, no. 23. Oh, hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> would you record me? Me. All I recorded was you say, I wasn't home for the last three days. Oh, shut the fuck up. Oh, I got worried. Like, you didn't realize the mic was up because you were Yeah, I don't want to talk. Oh, what was y'all talking about before? No. Shut the fuck up. Hey, shut the fuck up. Why you been a coon? I don't know. Listen, let me do the intro, bro. 1423 TV. <laughs> hey man, say man, it's your boy Sauce Malone in that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you need Sauce Malone in the building, you know what I'm saying? You be do it big and it be, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Hi, I'm Tevin. Chase, aka the Dark Sage, aka the Collector, aka Sauce Valley, aka <clears throat> Uneducated but Melanated. You call me Sauce Sage. Nigga, what you I said sauce and belly. Sauce and belly. Yeah, nigga, I had to get some fucking sauce. Sauce and belly or sauce sage? You're both trash. Nigga. Yeah, they they both. I mean, but y'all are trash. You got sauce and belly from Gunner, bro. You want to dress like him? Nah, he said drip of belly. He said drip of belly. Sauce and belly worse. All right, man. Sauce and belly is from Sauce Walker, nigga. He even had a song called Sauce and Belly. That ain't really better, bro. It's easy to work. Sauce nice, but that nigga cannot dress. Anyway, uh, he, he can't dress. Shit, no, can. Oh, yeah. But can I do my intro? Yeah, that nigga go hard. I'm gonna say he can't dress. Uh, fuck, uh, he dress like a real, like real Houston nigga. Hey, uh, That's how Houston niggas dress now. Yeah. That was your intro? Houston niggas were high That's what I was gonna say, because this nigga Shaq started yelling. When I started yelling? He was trying to say his intro. He was talking. So I don't care. Now I'll go. <laughs> how, how, how's y'all's week been going since the last podcast? Hey, bro, let me, look, I want to tell y'all my story right quick, bro. Oh, I was going to, I, I told oh, Jorge about it, too, but I didn't really tell him. I didn't tell him until I said, hey, I got to tell y'all some niggas. Some. But look, bro, so look, I went to go use the bathroom, right? Where was you at? At work. Okay. You got to put that in the podcast. I was at work, all right? And so nigga on the toilet, you know what I'm saying, chilling, right? So uh, so uh, 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 a Latin nigga came in just speaking Spanish and shit. I'm just chilling, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what he was doing. Next thing you know, he was like, hey, buddy. I was like, huh? He was like, what's your name? <laughs> I was like, bro, like, why are you asking for my name? He's like, you, uh, he was like, uh, you been baptized? And I was like, yeah. He was like, when? I was like, bro, why? He was like, can I see your face? I'm like, bro, get out of here, bro. Like, I was like, no, bro. I'm not talking to you no more, bro. And then uh, he went, he he was done like peeing or whatever. And he went like and turned the lights off, right? He was like, you like that? I was like, bro, like, what's wrong with you, bro? And he just, th- he laughed and left. It might have been that homeless guy we seen in McDonald's. Man. I don't know, bro. But like, so with that whole uh, situation happening, the first thing I thought, bro, was like, no, 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 it's like some real shit though. What? Nah, listen, bro, listen. So like one time I watched the video on like uh Let me think you gay and shit. No, it's not that, bro. It was I to me I felt like it was uh like a spiritual attack. In a way. Okay, that? okay, so I say this why is cause alright, so like I right, I watched the video on uh this Latin dude who converted from completely worshiping uh worshiping the devil to uh being a christian or whatever and uh he was talking about how he would like try to like curse christians like he'll look for like people and try to like curse them curse them yeah like like he y'all have to watch the video bro but like that that situation just reminded me of that bro because they'll go to like hospitals and try to like curse uh I, what's the thing it's called? You know how they just uh it's not ICUs. Something, bro. But they'll try to like nurses? put what you about? not nurses, but they'll he oh, will you talking, oh, you said ICU. All right. Yeah, something like that. Like he'll they'll try to like put like the energy of death into the like ICUs and kill people basically. It's shit, it's like a lot of shit, bro. And it's it doesn't sound believable, bro, but like just me being like you know, a little bit on my spiritual stuff, you know, I believe all that and all that stuff. But I mean that's my story though. I think it was a crazy nigga, though. Yeah, that, I would have beat but the I'm shit just, out of that nigga, bro. I would have uh, got up. Shitty, shitty booty and everything, bro. Yeah. I'm telling, hey, listen, I probably wouldn't have had time to wipe, bro. bro I'd be like, bro. I was like, bro. That nigga. I was like, bro nah, that's that. just weird, bro. You turn off the lights, bro. What if he turned it back on? He turned it back. He's like, you like that? I was like, 
Bro, get out of here. He just turned it on. And just yeah, he, and he's on some weird. I don't know, bro. We probably been boxing for. I, was, I thought it was like a nigga trying to see if I was a Christian dick. Yeah. Just come after me, spirit. I've been running at that nigga with the, with the you know, when you got your shoes, you got the toilet, toilet yeah. paper at the bottom of your sneaker. <laughs> That'd be me running after that nigga, bro. Throw, I'll throw a roll at that nigga. Yeah, I was chilling. <laughs> nah, I've been, I've been, I don't know, bro. I've been chilling, bro. I mean, I, that, was just, that was just a story, bro. I feel you, bro. I'm just saying, man. I don't know. I never really had like no weird bathroom things. I guess like when, bro, that was the first just when I'm in there, just when I'm no, in there. No, I've like, had some weird. I times. had some weird moments, mostly with kids though, because they be playing when you. What? Why you looking at me like that? Kids be just wild in the bathroom. <laughs> Hold well, on, bro, that did sound bad. Yeah, I mean, give me the <laughs> but I'm just saying, dog. Uh, I remember back then. Okay, back this was in middle school. This is why whenever I pee, I go use a stall and not the urinal, even though it kind of defeats the purpose of what of what happened during the story. So one time I was a uh, there was this there was this a uh, mentally challenged kid, even though he knew what he was doing. Like he was smart and he comprehended everything. People just treated him like he was mentally challenged. So uh, this is in middle school. I'm more newer. I'm newer because you know I'm coming from Dallas to you know DeSoto or whatever. So I go to the school. I'm peeing in the urinal. This kid gets on the toilet, looks above the stall, is like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> Pointed, I'm like, yo. Yo, I would have thought, uh, yo. Yeah, I would have uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, been there. Yeah. No, I wanted to real bad. I, I was my like, first fight in a, in a bathroom. Now, we used to slap box a lot of, yeah. in, the, in middle school. We used to slap box yeah, a lot in the bathroom. Slap boxing. Well, it was like, I used to slap box, nigga. I oh, no, back then I used yo, to slap that, box. I used to have them hands in slap boxing. Me? It wasn't like that we were slap boxing. It was like two other guys were slap back, slap boxing, and I was just sitting there laughing or whatnot. Yeah, and then oh dude just pushed me in my chest, and then we just started rumbling, bro. Hey, I, I was like, hey. Because niggas can't take fucking slap boxing. Yeah, so then no, I, I, I can't was, take it, bro. You slap me, bro, nigga. I'm about to close on you. Man. I don't know. Oh wait, simple. Oh, but some weird stories like at Walmart. <laughs> when I'm using the bathroom, me, you know, this is my, this is my, this is my thing. I go all the way to the end stall. That's what I'm that's what I always do because I don't want no one bothering me. I don't want no one. Hey, man, nah, nah. So I go to the install. I hear it's always white people that's doing this. Hey, bro, they sit down. Hey. They sit down. Wait a second. They sit down. Oh, hey, yeah. woo! Hey, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm like this for the whole time. Wait a second. But this oh. is nasty. They be making all this stuff. Oh, yeah, woo! Like, they, woo! Oh yeah. <laughs> they be talking to themselves. They be coaching themselves to it. Man, I gotta hurry up and finish. I got time for this. Yeah. And, uh, speaking of white people, bro, look, uh, I was wait, going wait, out wait, this. Wait, 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 no, it's a quick story, bro. Uh, I was walking down my hall or whatever, or my aisle. I was doing, bro, and like this kid was helping his mom, right? And uh, she's like, "Original life, original life." He was like, "Listen, bitch, if you keep telling, <laughs> bro, he said it." He's like, "I ain't helping you no more, bitch." Damn. I was like, "Bro, yo, hey, that, kid, that kid's real. <laughs> that kid's the realest kid I ever heard." He's like, "Hey, he's like, bitch, you keep saying that's not gonna make it any better." Oh like, I'm looking, I'm looking for it. I'm not gonna help you. Oh, this is a quick story about what Chase said. Uh, one day I went in the bathroom and like I went to the one where all the like what's it called handicapped people that's yeah. supposed to be their bathroom. And I was just sitting in there when this dude in a wheelchair like roll in and he like knock on the door a couple times yeah. and I ain't say a word. I ain't move. I was like, for all he know, I'm supposed to be in here. And was you, he, would you like to use the bathroom or were you just sitting in there? I was just sitting in there. <laughs> oh, and then a couple what? minutes later, that nigga just left. And I was like, damn, he probably really had this shit. But. He rolled <laughs> in there? Like he opened the door? No. No, he was in a, he, on. he knocked on it though. No. Oh, okay. I was pissing the man. No, one time I, uh, no, it's every time I go to the bathroom, I make sure it's empty. Ah, I can release myself, relieve myself. I sit down, someone come, this is the worst part, they sit in the stall right next to me. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I gotta hurry and get done. I'm like, damn, that nigga don't give a fuck, nigga. That nigga straight let loose, boy. Them who? Ah, uh, do you hear that roll of paper? <laughs> Rip. I'm like, yo. I was chilling in here. Hey, my, my and you hear that about five times. Like, it's, it's a funny thing. Shit. It's funny to me. I like walk I walk in there, bro, and I see familiar shoes. I like I, 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 see, I see all y'all niggas before in the bathroom. I see all well, y'all. Yeah, I know you tell me, tell me, but sometimes one time you told me and I didn't know I was walking in, I just walk out. Every time, I don't want y'all to let loose something. I'm like, bro, I know this nigga, bro. You know what I mean? I seen everybody in the bathroom, too. Yeah, I seen One time it. he came out, I was yeah. like, 
<laughs> when I walked out, like, who was in the front when I saw I saw uh, Jorge? I saw Shaq many times. No, I think he just be in there watching videos, bro. <laughs> that nigga probably don't be doing that. I mean, I walked in that other day, a nigga was in there laughing, watching videos. So, no, that'd be happening. But sometimes I be going in there just to chill. I'm yeah. like, ah, cool. It's just a kill spot, chill spot. But I don't know, bro. So, hey, my my week so far been all right. Been chilling. Uh, just cleaning up, you know, doing little things. Y'all see my, my living room is trash right now. My old living room. <laughs> nigga, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying, ain't nothing. Well, I still got my old cornflakes right there, boy. Boy, them cornflakes that syrup, maybe some of your mail, probably your your VR, awesome. your little VR thing over there. Oh, you got for like five dollars. Hello. No, I didn't get for five dollars. I think I spent ten on it. Yeah. No, I then spent five dollars on it. Then it went down. It then went down. Oh my god, bro. man, that was the biggest sound. So how are everybody else? Okay, so last week, me and the boy B Tevin <clears throat> went to the record store the other day. Bought me a record player. I set it up and everything. I'm like, cool. I broke the stylus. How? I don't know. I thought I was supposed to come yeah, out I more. FaceTime me after so I can drop something like that. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I broke the stylus on it. So I had to order another stylus, which was 20 bucks. Amazon Prime that I had to do it one day. So I paid an extra $3.99 for that. Came, it took a little while. It came. I played the uh, I played the record. I still couldn't hear it because I realized the... Um, the the record player I had it didn't have no speakers in it so I couldn't hear it so I had to buy a speaker system from Walmart to get a uh, to get it to work but but it, it played like louder yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's you know not, not but all my vinyls you know they sound nice sound excellent especially the big crit ones I've been putting them on replay that and Astro World the one uh, from Urban Outfitters but it's all cool I've been I just been doing that um I've been uploading a lot to the SoundCloud and to the YouTube we do have a challenge video up. Can't eat two cheesecakes. Check it out. See what you guys think about it. It's about 20 minutes, 22 minutes long. Oh, yeah. We got to do the hot wings one day. Maybe next week. No, no, not next week. Next week is Christmas. Next week is Christmas. Yeah, we all going to be gone. That's at night, though. So you want to. We did it last time at night. No, we didn't. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but we bought the food and we took it somewhere. Yeah, nigga. Bro, I'll go. I'll pay, I'll pay for it. No, it's not a problem with paying for it. It's a problem with wanting to do it and stuff. Cause who's bro, do them shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Bro, we can do it at night, bro. But if that's the case, we're going to do it on the podcast night. What are we talking about? This is a podcast. Y'all are discussing behind the scenes stuff. Like, come on, bro. Hey, man, no. Oh, my God, hey, dude. This is how we do it. No, no, hey. That's yeah, no, that's not natural. That's just, the, I don't want to hear that. Nobody want to hear that. Nobody want to hear what y'all going to do with the players. Yeah, we gonna let it flow, but I'm just saying, what, what, hey, what's happening? What, what, let's get into these topics, bro. Give it, let me give it to my, my light skinned brother right here, man. All right, since these melanated niggas is unfocused. Yeah, boy, how you gonna talk about mic and not even have the notes out yet? I didn't need to have the notes out because I was gonna start with my stuff. But yeah, go ahead and start talk with about your stuff. Shut up, nigga. Hey. Anyway, what's wrong with you? Can I do one thing real quick? Can I say one thing real quick. Well, can I play this video real quick? Before? I showed Tevin this video early today. He said you're a coon for this. Disgusting black creatures. Get out of my sight. Is that true, Jorge? Nigga, I ain't make that. <laughs> Where's that from? Shout out the Hedgehog video game. The favorite game. Hey, yeah, we talk about how Chase said that LMA fine, but she was like Isaiah Thomas. She is fine. Okay. She bad, bro. Yeah, you're a fag. She so are you. Like, uh, Y'all niggas gay. Okay. Like, all right, so <clears throat> quick hits. That nigga Blueface got a music video with Cole Bennett. Means he's probably finna blow up, blow up. You think so? Yeah, nigga, that's shit. And he actually yeah, rapping on nigga every Cole Bennett nigga that he worked with. They blow up after that. Hey, the beat caught up with him. Remember that, nigga. Chill, bitch. Yeah, I didn't hear you. Yeah, so he got a Cole Bennett video, hey, and he that? finally that's rapping that's on beat. Is Blueface? The next little B? Like, is he going to be the next one to blow up? Like, in a, what is that? Underground culture, whatever? Hey, remember, uh... Is it going to be underground culture? Remember what Daylight said. Nigga, Nobody yes. Like him, bro. Hey, Daylight also said that Drake killed XXX. Is that true, Shaq? That ain't true. You said it is true? No. Oh. You said it is true. But what he said about Day, uh, uh, Blueface is true, though. What? He said uh, he'll perform at... His performance started at... Uh, 
what, six? He rap at one? <laughs> what he said? He said he rap at one. Damn, what'd he say, bro? I never saw this shit. You I never saw it? At- All right, little, like- I'm going to come back to that, bro. That nigga said it. Blueface being the next little B? <clears throat> no. God, no. Next, uh, in the mirror or something like, like, yeah, like, in the mirror? Fuck no. I don't rap, think so. Like 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 trash, like, I mean, Where's Blueface from? Is Blueface not from Cali? Yeah, he did. I'm just talking about from the Cole Bennett shit. It might take it like, Blueface blew up because niggas thought he was funny. trash, but now, yeah, because he's trash and funny. Now niggas are saying, like, he actually not. Hey, look, this is what he said, right? I knew he could rap, but I told you I could rap. Damn. Fuck, I can't. Yeah, I still think he could rap. Cool. Blueface or YBN? YBN? Either of them, really. Have any of y'all heard the YBN the mirror tape? Well, not tape, but the YBN tape. You don't like Cordae or anything? You look Cordae, like him. No, I don't like no thank shit, you. Bro, but yeah, he can rap. Who, Cordae? Yeah, Cordae's know. cool. I mean, I like he's not doing anything. Him, I'm the lyrical one of the group. You're, you had the, mo- you had the most the lyrics. One. You had the most lyrics in the group, yes, but you ain't the most. You, you just ain't Wait, lyrical. Cordae. Cordae. I'm, I'm the... No, I'm saying that, but the way he says, I'm the lyrical one. You know what I'm saying? I ain't with all that song. So, you know me, I rap, I do that. I'm like... He's the best rapper. You didn't hear his old nigga song? I did. When someone says they lyrical to me, I compare them to like, you know, people of upper tier. He is. So you be, you a better rapper than YBN uh, Cody Air? No. Yes. Maybe not. <laughs> YBN Corbier? Yes. Whatever well, that nigga name is. Yes, I'm better than whoever that made up. Anyway, let's, let's get to what I want to talk about. Go into what you want to talk about, kid. All right, so me and Chase was at the gym yesterday. I was watching this video. Not yesterday. It was a couple of days ago. I was watching this video about a fucking oh about Naruto yeah. like the tuning exams. Yeah. That's what that's what y'all do at the gym, bro. What? Watch videos. All nigga, day. I was watching a video oh, on, oh. on a treadmill, bro. Shut I up, mean, nigga. We, we can look at the video. I mean, they got TVs up there. Yeah, bro. nah, that was when we was doing a sit. I, we was doing a sit down bikes, bro. All right then. Why you interrupt me for then? The fuck. But uh, anyway, it was about the fucking tuning exams. I was like, damn, Naruto really peaked like in his second arc. And I knew I was thinking I was talking to Chase when we was doing we was doing like lifting or some shit. I was like, why so many like why so many like animes and shit like peak like in their first or second art and they just never really get it back after that. So I wrote down some examples. Uh, Naruto, Yu Yu Hakusho did that. Bleach, Yu Gi Oh. Some niggas so far say like My Hero Academia. You know what I'm saying it's a lot. Like it's like a. Almost a majority, like, it's really rare that some have their best arc, like, in the middle or the end, like, Dragon Ball, uh, fucking One Piece. It was, those was really the only two I could, like, think of, really. Right. So I was just wondering why y'all think, y'all think niggas just start out with, like, one or two ideas, and then they just start going off the cuff after that, or? Like, if you mean, like, if it's going space off, like, <clears throat> going straight from off the manga, or, like. Are you, are, are you, you just saying, are you? Just basically just, just right. something that's, uh. I'm talking about the you most animes follow the manga closer. All right, wait, wait. Are you saying Naruto the whole, including Shippuden, or just the regular Naruto? Yeah, most niggas would say that the Chunin exam is the best thing of all Naruto. Nah. It got the best fight, probably the best story. Nah. The Chunin exams is the best arc. Now, yeah, and we, and me and him both agreed that the the last uh the, the Kage, I mean the Ninja Great Ninja War, that was the worst arc, and that was like the peak finale of the show. That was a whole third of like the manga. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna agree with y'all, but why don't you agree with us, Chad? Because I, I mean, I feel like there was way better fights in Shippuden than fucking no, Naruto but itself. Not fights. We're Maybe talking, just Naruto. We're talking about arcs. Just Naruto, Naruto I think separate Naruto from. Sh- had better fights than too. No, I'm saying Shippuden had Naruto better fights. Versus Lee and Naruto versus Sasuke, the first time of the two best fights in Naruto. The only thing when it came was like, uh, I guess animation was better. I don't know about Naruto. I, was, I didn't think it was. I think yes, Gar like versus Lee still, was just the best thing that at that time. Stand up. Like, that fight was animated in fucking 2004, I think. Right. And it still looked good today's standards. Which oh, no, I'd rather have Chase hold the mic for me. Nah, I think the pain fight was 10 times better than fucking. Oh, see, I love the pain fight. That terrible. Was Bro, where animated it? It no, but there was parts where it has bad animation where it says, my pain is greater than yours. If you pause that fret. That frame, you know, the, whole, like the whole, now, the whole, the whole art fighting frames. That's stupid. Niggas should not do that. that but if you, just watch it, if you just watch it, bro. All right, do what you're saying. That's how some dude niggas do, like to fucking discredit animation and shit. Yeah, because I don't. Yeah, I don't like. It, like I don't like. No, when no, but do that was 
parts where it was just like horribly drawn. Yeah, but yeah no, but you shouldn't. Animation. Yeah, you shouldn't pause a moving frame because that just it's not it really. Okay, how about this? But there was bad animation. No, I'm saying yeah, no. Movie. There's parts where it moving. It looks. I'm bad. not. I'm not saying. Oh, it needs to be super detailed when they're throwing a super fast punch. No, I'm saying like if you're gonna. Uh, I'm saying any frame in that fight that you choose, even if they stand still, it's, some of it. Yeah, but bad. when it's together, how it looks. Some of it looks bad, but most of that, it is. Right. No, but some of it was just. They changed no, the, the animation shot. itself. Huh? Most of it looks yeah, bad, animation animated. In that was, yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I hate when niggas do that. Yeah, like, yeah I don't. I'm like, not like, saying all positive. And be like, hey, why is this nigga arm move like I'm that? Like, I'm like, bro, this is a motion shot. It's a motion shot. I'm not saying you do I'm just saying. Yeah, I definitely. It is annoying. I don't like it too. I'm just saying, yeah, when niggas say it. Like. Any anime don't pause it and, and say like, oh, bro, why yeah. does this arm backwards? I'm like, yeah, I stay getting on people. I'm like, bro, it's an animation. You freezing it. Like, yeah, nigga, but, let it flow. How it flow. But if you tell me the animation trash, I said, going, you're like, ew. But if you freeze it, of course it's going to. No, right, so, but, but there was, there was, there was some yeah, super it's, bad. It turns, it turns out that Naruto shit. Maybe we could leave that one alone. But all right. Best Yu Yu Hakusho arc? I haven't rewatched it. Dark tournament, tournament to me. Dark tournament. That, oh, that's, that's, that's by far. That's, that's, the, best that's, the, best that's the best one. To a lot of people, that's the best, like one of the best anime arcs like, in any anime. Okay. Second arc. Uh, that's the second arc. Yeah. Okay. Yu Gi Oh second arc was fucking when they go to that island. Pegasus. That's, Pegasus yeah, that's arc? most people's favorite part you of don't that. Feel shit. Like, you don't think like Freeza is the best arc? In the no, well, I'm talking about going off. I, I if I count the oh, Dragon no, Ball I manga, bro. Freeza arc is the best. If I'm not counting, yeah, no, that's no. We're gonna say more of a peak though. Slash anime shit. Oh, all right. like yeah, because then Freeze is like the fifth arc, I think. Oh yeah, if you go, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. You go See, because we was talking about that a complete you work. Work. I feel Uh, from One Piece, most people favorite arc is like Marine for Eni's e Lobby, which is way later. So that's why I didn't put those in there. But I don't know Bleach, the uh, Soul Society arc, that's the second arc. That's for a lot of people. That's like one of the best arcs in any shonen, and the rest of it is like kind of trash. <laughs> Yeah, I was wondering why y'all like thought it was. Cell Soccer was the best arc in Dragon Ball Z, though. Wait, huh? Well, that doesn't even matter because that's like the oh. sixth arc. We talking about the fourth Yeah. Arc. Dragon Ball plus yeah, the Z. Second arc that's all Dragon together Ball in this situation. In, uh, Red Ribbon Army, I think, yeah. which is good. But I still think. Yeah, no, I just, so. I thought that, I think Tevin said it, but niggas start out, when niggas come up with an idea for a manga or some shit, they'll start out with like one or two ideas. And unless they like a real special writer, they usually like after the second idea, they're like, all right, what I'm gonna do now? Okay, do you feel like, any, coming from that, do you feel like any of these should end early then? Like, should have ended earlier than how long? No, because they know they got they. It's like, they're not gonna end because they know they got their fans. Mm -hmm. They gave you two great arcs, but it's like, bam, now it, the rest don't have to be filler, but the rest is just gonna be boom. We gonna, we gonna grab, we got our audience, we know who we're gonna attract to this. So we keep pumping it. We keep pumping it. We keep pumping it. Another thing is, uh, I think, yeah, I think there's two reasons why they go on past where the nigga has like ideas and shit. It's like, one, like Tevin said, you know, niggas wanna like keep making bread, like they know niggas gonna buy it or whatever. And the other one is, I think sometimes a nigga get to the end of like the ideas they had and they come up with more. Like uh, the dude who write One Piece, he said it was supposed to end after five years. Right. But niggas will say the prime is probably like now or a couple of years ago and it's been going for like 20. Yeah, so I, like some niggas, yeah, they can keep off the cuff. Honestly, I feel like One Piece, <clears throat> compared to what I've seen, compared to what I've watched, it's like two different animes. So I can see what he means by it should have ended after a certain while because right now it's like a totally different anime. Well, well, I mean, even the yeah. first half. Why do you want it to end? No, not, not he's saying how he said. Shad, get off your phone, though. He's saying, <laughs> get he's saying phone, he Shad. was going to end it after five years, and yeah. I'm saying it's the mark of a good writer that he thought he was going to end it there, but he's been able to keep it going, and, like, that's the quality's like, been the same around. Yeah, that's because, like, with every character... See, like, the thing about One Piece, bro, with every character that be within that, like... Within that anime, bro, he just, like, expands their, like, story. So, like, if you see a villain... He gets into straight detail about like everything like that happened, like even like childhood shit. So that's why like One Piece goes on. Like he's saying it's seventy five percent done right now, bro. And this nigga's almost at like a thousand episodes. You know what I'm saying? But like that's that's just with one, with One Piece or with uh who's the writer again, bro? I'm tripping. That's your favorite anime. I know. I forgot his name, bro. Yeah, Oda. Like he just he can't like he can't just like write a quick story just for like one character you know what i'm saying like where every character just has like a, a nice good backstory i know because no what i was saying was 
compared to what I watch, compared to what I've seen now and I hear about it, mm-hmm. it's two completely different animes. Yeah. And he's saying the writer said that it should have ended after five years, yeah, he which did. I can see why because now it's completely different from how. If you go back to the older episodes, you're like, yo, what is this? <laughs> There's a lot of times where he wanted to. He said he wanted to end it. Bro. Talking about like a progression or whatever. That is. Yeah, the progression. It went from. It was. It's not as corny as it was back then. Yeah. One Piece was super corny, super. Oh, yeah, no, it was, was goofy as fuck. Yeah, like the, like the animations was goofy. But you still gotta tell like sh- like when it comes to like some of the animation and like animes, like sometimes the writer they don't be fully into it. Like you know, what I'm saying like the people that write, the dude that write the manga, like he probably put way more detail in his manga. You know what I mean? No, I, I, I can, yeah, that's I, what I'm I, saying. I so agree. like when it comes to the animators and stuff, you know they add their own things. To, like in the beginning, you know how he was introducing. Animated, you know, to our culture. So it's like I wasn't more focused on the animation. I was more focused on how dialogue is different. All that it's gonna be a little wonkier to appear to kids mm-hmm. when it was, uh, in the beginning. But you know, most of the time, sometimes the writer be like, "Okay, I leave that to the animator." But I give my creative control yeah. of some of the things. But some I'll of that stuff. Talk about some chase it real quick. Uh, you say you think that they should feel like they should end them faster and stuff. No, I'm saying do, do yeah, like when they run out of good ideas. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say a couple of my favorite animes. They do some shit like that. Like, um, I'm big at Attack on Titan fan, and mm-hmm. they've been trying to get him to like continue for a long time. But he said he's ending it like next year. I kind of like when niggas say they gonna end. Like when they, yeah, when they end it, when they say they gonna end it, I like it because it feels like they not dragging it out. Like even my favorite, some of my other favorite animes went on too long. Like, what about like Hunter X Hunter? Hunter Hunter, he's he's not done yet. Like, he's he's been writing it for like yeah. fucking uh He he wanted to take a break though. But he been writing that shit for that shit came out before One Piece, I'm pretty sure. No, because I remember I yeah, used to see cool. some episodes of the older Hunter X Hunter. Oh. So that's why I was so confused on seeing there was a Hunter X Hunter 2013. I'm thinking that's a sequel or something. Nah, no, I, no, 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 I'm no. saying when I first heard of it. Yeah. yeah. When I first heard of the twenty thirteen version. Cause I was so confused Cause you know I go to Darius's crib And he be watching The older one I'm like oh I'm like this looks Different from this one though But yeah now nah, That nigga said uh, He don't wanna finish it Cause he not done With it yet mm-hmm. Even with like Health problems and shit Bro, So I, I appreciate I appreciate that, that He's still like Doing that But yeah like Some like uh, that shit. Dragon Ball He was he He's an example Of a nigga Who wanted to finish it And like Shonen Jump Was like nah nigga Keep going like I think by the the blue arc is when he started having fun with it again. But besides, after that he was like ready for it to be done. That's why he didn't have nothing to do with like GT or the, like Dragon Ball. He evolution. drew some of the the characters. Yeah, he designed like that. like three niggas. Yeah, but he wasn't even like he said he didn't even really watch it. Yeah, he was wasn't he out. wasn't involved with it. Like yeah, he said he was done. Like he didn't even want to be not, do nothing with Dragon Ball until he seen that movie and then he came back. Came back with that guy. Like, I mean yeah, like him uh, Toriyama he wrote. He wrote like Doctor Slump like 1983, and he ain't finished drawing manga till Dragon Ball finished in 1986. Yeah. So, bro, imagine for 13 fucking uh, years, this nigga had to give fucking 50 chapters a year. So that's 50 weeks. And uh, the dude from One Piece did like a breakdown how much time he spent. He said he spent like 40 hours a week working on that shit. That's a whole, so yeah, that's nigga, a that's, a, that's a fucking full time job. I mean, so like, no, I can understand when a nigga start writing some if he run out of ideas. Yeah. But he making money and he want to keep going like uh the nigga from Bleach. So yeah, like, I, I ain't mad at him because I know they need bread, especially over there where niggas be like penny pinching and shit. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, I do wish, and I'm I think we're starting to see now like uh this other one I like to read is called Promise Neverland and he wants to end it next year. He said he's gonna end it. So I think now it's better that niggas are being able to like take control of their series and not have like that manga niggas be like nah keep going or adding shit because it makes the series look worse like imagine yeah. if bleach ended after the soul society arc niggas would probably put it up there with the ghosts but instead it went on for a long ass time i say leave them wanting it was more. it was yeah it was a lot of like like trash oh by the way do you want to talk about the shonen jump uh app um we get to that i think we can get to that a little later because we did have like one other little quick hit that Chase wanted to talk about. Oh, that Aladdin first look and trailer. They had a trailer? Yeah, no, I ain't, I watched like five. Yeah, look, the little sneak peek, Jay. Hold on, bro. I'm pretty sure they put out a trailer. I seen it and I was like, I don't want to see this shit. Was it, how, was it like a few seconds? I seen the picture. A, bro, I, I ain't watch it, dog. They put out but let me, let me tell you. Aladdin, my favorite Disney movie coming up. Um, Lion King is cool and all, but Aladdin was my favorite. Aladdin was fun and it had like this, 
the storytelling moment of him being stingy and greedy and uh, thinking about himself before, you know, others and stuff like that. But uh, Will Smith, no. You're not blue. You're not genie. No one could be Robin, what Robin Williams did in Aladdin, but I don't want to see Will Smith as genie. I'm sorry. And then he's still black. What do you got to say about that, Jorge? He's still black. I, that shit is weird. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think a blue nigga would look too weird in real life, but that's why they shouldn't have made this shit. But yeah. Yeah, I was going to use that to like ask for a bigger question. Like, are any of these Disney live action remakes going to be good? Because like Mulan, Jungle Book. yeah, Mulan looking trash. Jungle Book was mid. Jungle, Jungle Book was good. I like Jungle Book. Yeah, the, the nigga, the Jungle Book movie is trash. The original? I, I love it. Nigga, that shit. Coming up, growing up, I love it. Suck. That Lion King? I know y'all might want to see it, but I ain't excited for that shit. Uh, that Beauty and the Beast, that shit. I didn't watch that. Yes, shit was trash. They made a fucking Cinderella that joint that ain't nobody see. Wasn't that older though? That was Cinderella was older. It came out like three years ago. Like the only one I can think of that might be good is they saying that Mary Poppins movie is good, which I fuck with. Oh, what about Winnie the Pooh? Trash. Ain't nobody even. Bro, I loved Winnie the Pooh when I was little. Yeah, I. Robin. That's what's called Christopher Robin. I forgot that shit even came out. Cause that nigga Pooh looked like he was on crack or some shit. <laughs> His clothes was all faded and everything. <laughs> but yeah, do y'all think it's any of these live action remakes that could be good? Like, I know some of y'all wanted Bro, to see I Lion King. Live action when I watched the fucking Death Note shit. Oh, I mean, Lion King with Lion King, that's all animals yeah. in its live action. Yeah, live action. There's no humans in it, so. Bro, I'm just saying, that's what I feel like that one's gonna be a little harder. Live action well, live action just don't be doing as good as animation. I mean, but I feel like you could do it's just some stuff. Some I stuff just, just meant for I think some stuff just meant for animation, bro. Yeah, it yeah, looks like, stupid. Their perspective on how it should look. Yeah. It's because it's they just trying to bring it into the real world, and it's just like us being younger and just just looking at animation. You could do much more with it. You could be more, you know. You then you got to use like CGI. Can't you can't use really use too much practical effects because it's not gonna look, you know, because it's a whole new era you can't do that shit like in the 80s you know what i mean yeah. so it's like i don't know bro it's just not gonna be cool bro like the only live action i'm looking forward to is uh let's go pikachu bro come let's on go pikachu? Huh, bro, give me, give yeah me. pikachu the, what is it is it let's go pikachu, pikachu. Oh, detective. yeah detective oh, pikachu chad get, get some of man yeah, yeah, y'all don't want to see that no i want to see that uh, why don't bro, you yeah. deadpool as pikachu bro why not Okay, you don't want to see you don't want to see live action Pokemon. Well, guess what? It's not gonna be like the Pokemon we watch. It's gonna be oh, they're trying to figure out a mystery. Nigga, like, who gives a fuck? It's one Pikachu, Pikachu talking, nigga. They have me out talking, nigga. Guess what? I thought you just gave up, nigga. And now you want to see another? You, that's see, the only one you want to see probably the worst one? Yeah, he wild. Probably that's the worst one. That's gonna be the worst one. That's the worst one. All the ones coming out now, that's gonna be the worst one. Yeah, that one look like it had Sonic might be the worst. Sonic, Sonic might be the worst one. Sonic might be the worst one. Go fast. That's already out. So you could check that out. I'm saying it's gonna be worse than that. I don't know. You said that nigga. Hmm. Mm. You don't give him that burner, boy. Yeah, fuck, fuck that. But, uh, you know, have say the oh, word. I wanted to redirect real quick. Let's go back to let's go back to Blueface. I had another question, especially for Tevin. You know, he's right. the biggest Blueface yeah, fan here. About, we, me and we was talking about rappers who get big quick and fall off just as quick. You think Blueface has a chance to be like a like a Post Malone who came up quick and low key like stay relevant or not even Post, but like you know, it's a few niggas. Like most of them fall right well, back off, good, but it's bro. a few. Nigga, Post Malone's not like good. the game. Post Malone we'll start off the God. game. Cause no, nigga, cause remember, I'm talking about no. in our era, bro. Oh, I thought you meant just general. Cause we was talking nigga, about this Post earlier. Malone, remember, the game got famous about being a G unit. Post Malone. No, but remember, we was like people who didn't rap for long that got real big. Oh, I didn't mean like him. I meant like niggas like Post Malone just came out with a single and he's still big now. You think he got of a chance course, to be one of them? Is good. Wait a second, Shaq. Wait a second. Music is very subjective. Shaq, speak your piece. You're a hater, nigga. That's all I got to say, well, nigga. Shaq. Why you don't like Posts, bro? Shaq is in his bag. That nigga sucks. Why? Because he sucks. Why? His music is not pleasing. Why? Shaq, Shaq, what, what, what is not pleasing about his music to you? Shaq, 
respect. You know music is subjective, no. right? Okay, I'm just asking, like, what you don't like about it, Check nigga? It. Can you just give me a regular-ass answer? I just did. It's just not pleasing, that's it? Yeah, like that nigga can't sing. I don't. His lyrics aren't good, and I don't like his production. I mean, yeah, production. It's just like, Check is all about vibes <laughs> and how it feels at the moment. It's just like how, yeah, like... Come on, it's not, bro, what, who is lyrical nowadays anyways? A lot of rappers. Post Malone's not a... We so not... Nigga, one of my biggest, rap, one of my no, biggest no. rappers... You don't have to be lyrical biggest. to have... I'm going to say this. I know, Post, 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 the crazy thing is... Who has lyrics nowadays? A lot of... Jake. Are you saying that scene? Okay, who sings? No, no. But he's not even just a singer, bro. He's like... He's saying like... He's saying like... Singer, rapper type nigga. Who? Uzi. That nigga, bro, Trippy Red, Trippy Red got better lyrics than Drake. Me. He said Trippy Red, bro. Trippy Red, right he not that. even great. Hey, he Trippie way Red better than Post Malone. That nigga lyrics be on some shit, bro. Next, bro. I'm just saying, y'all want to talk about lyrics and talk about Post Malone? I'm not talking about both. I know, I know what you mean. So you just don't like, like your shit. Dude. Yeah, I just feel I, like I, I just gave you three reasons yeah. I didn't like it. You, that's you always do that when niggas don't no, like stuff. No, it's like this. Like, like, y'all niggas don't know. Yeah, like, like look, haters. Y'all <laughs> niggas not into this. Like, hey, damn right. Yeah. That's what I do, bro. Yeah, but look, that's it's, me, bro. it's like this, Shaq. That's when it starts to get more. Biased. It's like you, yeah, it's super biased. Like, how am I biased? Because you're like, you're not you even. You, you telling somebody they don't get it, and you okay, trying to get an opinion. I'm not being biased. It's just I always say that with shit. Know, yeah, I know, but it's like, it's still damn, it's <laughs> it's like this too. I was just saying this, like when it comes to like Post Malone and him bringing up and saying that, oh, if you looking for lyrics, I wouldn't go to hip hop type shit. Like I wouldn't go to your music if I want to listen to some music. If I want to listen to some lyrics or some shit. What you mean? Like oh, when yeah, he said no. like hip hop is not the genre to go to for like lyrics. They don't have a emotion. He's like you like emotional. You're not gonna go to right. Cool. Post Malone oh, yeah, said that, and he's bugging with that. Like it's nothing but emotion in hip hop. And I, one thing I was just thinking is, uh, like, Post Malone, if I want to listen to him, I listen to him with a different ear. If I want to have a vibe and chill, I listen to it as how I feel. Like, his album wasn't bad at all to me. It well, was, Beer Bones and Yeah, it was a cool album. Uh, but he's not. For you? I'm, I'm not saying he's not, I'm not for the, like, K form or be, like, because he's not for me. But I can stand why Shaq like him because I see why Shaq, Shaq always say like the music. It's like with me with Uzi. I like Uzi because how it make you feel like, you know, the song, the, the production. Uzi, I just like it. Me. Lyrics. I'm not really caring about Uzi lyrics. I like the feeling of it. That's why I always like Uzi. The vibe of it. I hate yeah, Uzi. Can you get back to what we was originally talking about? Yeah. Well, I feel, like I feel like Blueface. I feel like Blueface probably can't. Uh, just, be sent, just because uh, we have, like, he's from California. Yes. But you have uh, YB in the mirror. Uh, T Grizzly with that that flow, I don't know if it's like he he not that but how he was rapping on a newer song he was more on beat it was more I feel like it's like normal. Good, though. I feel like what, yeah it was straight it was like what people got caught on was making his un his yeah his being he's just yeah. a big meme bro I feel like that's what the hype is surrounded by yeah when it comes to like the media vibes but you still have like girls that like this nigga but Man, I feel like it ain't going nowhere. Bro, everybody has fans. No, somebody. I'm saying, but you got all girls at your show? Niggas ain't really going to go see Blueface. So I'm saying, uh, like, I don't think he's going to last just because of that. Oh, like Lil Baby, too. Lil Baby has, like, a huge girl, girl fan base. Girl fan base, yeah. But he, got, he, but he attracted niggas, too. With yeah, the stuff he, he said. huge girl fan He got he huge got girl fan. his songs, too. Yeah, and he got his songs. I don't feel like Blueface have that niche. Like, YB and Amir got the young kids, the, seven, the 16, 17-year-olds. That's his age. Him in high school dropping a track. Like, them being that young, you got that, too. And then so he feel, relates a little more because he was playing video games yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, and I don't feel like Blueface have that. Or we got You got us that laugh at it. Or me that blood is hard. Just, you know what I mean? But I don't think he's going to have that. But if it do, it'll shock me if he has some more stuff. But I don't think so. I think it's I think it's going to be very slim, bro. Probably not in the, the first quarter of next year. We probably won't even talk about this nigga, bro. I think Blueface is slowly going to die out. Because there's a lot of... He's not his him rapping on beat. That was something different. Now he's rapping on beat. It's like you like every other Cali rapper now. Hey, speaking of niggas dying out, did y'all see that video, of Famous Dex? Oh, when he was smoking that blunt and then he hey, just no, passed so, up. Yeah, yeah, that shit crazy. Or oh, that other nigga who was doing that interview and he was like saying he was itching and shit because he didn't have a perk. Yeah, yeah, bro. Y'all think he needs to get cleaned up? Rapper niggas finna die. 
Like, Uzi, that's my nigga, but I be seeing, I'm like, damn, nigga. You watch this Nahuar interview? Yeah, what Nahuar interview? <laughs> the one where I'm saying it wasn't really that much of an interview because he just ran out. Yeah. Like, yeah. But I'm like, yeah, he had a Nahuar interview with him before. He already knows the deal. These niggas finna die out soon. That shit's sad. Yeah, because I... Like, the ones who don't be doing it, you could tell because they be looking like... Like, Cardi, I don't think that nigga actually does drugs because he look like a normal person. But Uzi, you could see, like, the drugs in his face and shit. Yeah. Same with, like, Famous Dex, especially. Like, that nigga fucking eyes is droopy and shit. I'm like, nigga, you ain't got long left. I'm be Uzi don't look the same, bro. His HP level keeps going, going he's down. He's 80. Like, yeah, he yeah. he's only, like, 24, but he look yeah. like he's, like, 28. He don't look the same, bro. Like, he don't. I don't know. Is it them piercings? It's just his face. It's just, he don't look the same. It's dead, but it's just like his. Fa- I don't know. It just don't look the same to me. I don't know. I just. I don't really like. Like, sometimes I feel like some rappers just be talking about it just because it's like a big thing. But I feel like it's really a problem. But like, if you really not doing it, I don't think you should just like how we used to have gangster rappers that act like they was gangsters and wasn't. But I feel like, like yeah, Future don't do that much drugs. Yeah, he said he. One, it was a while back. That he yeah, said but I remember like that. But it's like I feel like that's dangerous because you still got kids out here popping that shit just because they say you're doing it. So, and I feel like some people, like me, I know, I know, I listen to all type of crazy shit, but I'm not gonna do it. But not, I'm not. Everybody don't think like I think. So I know people that oh I'm gonna do this because this song make me feel like this. So I'm gonna go hit a lick. Hey, I say that all the time. Freddie Gibbs makes me feel. When I listen to it, makes me want to go do some gangster. I'm not actually gonna do nothing gangster though. <laughs> I don't want to get. Yeah. Okay. Bro, I was asking. I was gonna oh yeah. Right. Boy, Freddie's a G. That's why his last name, you know, his last name Gibbs. Man. Freddie G. Freddie Gibbs. Oh. Came. Freddie G. Hey, he grew up right by Michael Jackson's house. Became a crack house. I seen all the interviews. I actually asked somebody that was from his city. He was like, "Oh yeah." He said, "I'm so 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 so." Yeah, I remember the Jackson. I'm like, "Yo, <laughs> I'm like, you really are from there." But I, uh, I wanted to ask this question earlier because we was on an anime topic and we, to me, we we came off too quick. Okay, this is a question because we all we all kind of like dip into this question a lot, and me and Shaq we kind of been going going at each other a few for a few weeks or two a week or two at this. What's a casual fan and what's a hardcore fan? What differentiates the two? Can we talk about this? No, about the anime. But I'm talking about overall. No, that was arguing if OP was a casual anime. Yeah, it was like, yeah. But what do you think makes? Someone a casual fan or something, and somebody a hardcore fan of a certain anime. Just, or just no, anime just, just anything, just really anything. Man, in general. Anime, uh, I don't know, man. It being a, I think it, the difference is there is casual fans now. Back in the day, you was either like a hardcore anime fan or you wasn't into anime at all. Like after the four kids era was over, when niggas was fucking going on YouTube and like all them special sites to watch it. I feel like all them niggas was hardcore, and I think the only difference is now it's like easier to get. So there's a bunch of people who just. Like, my homie, uh, he'll watch any anime I tell him to, but he don't be, like, searching it out. Like, he don't watch shit besides, like, Super and, like, uh, that basketball one. So, I say, uh, yeah, that shit's hard. Also, that movie's on Crunchyroll, by the way. Nigga, I love that show. I'm the one who told, I was, I was, I'm the one who told him about it. But, uh, but yeah, I think, like, Catch would be, like, a nigga like him who don't really be searching it out and don't. Watch it unless like I'd be like, hey bro, you should check this out or whatever. Like we have a friend. But I think it's a yeah. I think it's a bunch of different like yeah like yeah. yeah. I think it's like a different like a different bunch of like tiers. Like I don't I don't think I'm a yeah I don't think I'm a hardcore anime fan anymore because I only watch like two now like weekly. I don't really be like starting new shows or nothing. I used to be hardcore. I'm not at all. Yeah, I feel like. I feel like a lot of people like me and Tevin like and you a little bit like I feel like me back a little bit. I feel like me. I'm a I'm a medium I'm a medium fan. Yeah, because like, me, if I really like something, because Shaq was telling me this the other day, he was like, "You do that because you like that. You collect vinyls and stuff like that because you collect because you like vinyls and stuff." I said, "I only got into collecting vinyls because you took me into it." But I told him, "I'm only collecting the people that I like. So I don't collect vinyls. I only get the people's who I like. So I feel like I feel like I'm a hardcore fan for for whatever I like. Like if it's a dra- like with pops, when it comes to Dragon Ball Z, I got I gotta get it. I got a thousand dollar pop because it was Dragon Ball Z and stuff like that. Like I gotta get it." When it, Cause me, I feel like me, I get the merchandise. If I really like it, I'm gonna go hardcore for it. So I go buy the merchandising for it too. Like, right. when I used to like One Piece. I used to buy all the games and stuff like that. I feel like that that also helps make you more of a fan of it too. Because you could be a casual a casual person, you could just watch it and just keep going about it. Yeah. A, a real hardcore fan, you'll 
you'll watch the anime. You'll buy the manga book too, or you'll keep up with it online too. You'll buy the figurines, or you'll you know you'll buy all the games and stuff like that. Yeah. Like me, I feel like I'm a hardcore Dragon Ball Z fan, but I'm not super hardcore though, because I don't have every single figure or anything. No, I think you are hardcore. You be buying a Blu-rays and shit. And them shits. If you buy any anime Blu-rays, you a hardcore fan because them shits are expensive. Yeah, me, I'm just. I think you're a hardcore fan, but a casual watcher. Of what? Anime. Well, I mean, no, I no but I'm saying I'm a hardcore fan of what I like, though. Like, when it comes to vinyl collecting, I don't just collect everybody's vinyls. Like, Big Crit, I'm a Big Crit fan. I want all his vinyls. You get what I'm saying? When it comes to Dragon Ball Z, I want all the Blu-rays. I want all the movies. I want all the, I want all the pop figures. I want everything about that. You get what I'm saying? That's how I feel that makes me a hardcore fan. I don't rather think than I'm, just a casual. I don't know if I'm hardcore, really. Because then it goes to the point of, are you a hardcore fan or are you just a hardcore watcher? Yeah. Because at the same time, when I watch a lot of anime, I also watch a lot of TV shows. I also play video games. I just feel like I'm just a medium. Like, I watched enough uh, anime at the time to keep up with people. I played enough games to keep up with the normal. Hey, that's, that's, good, that's yeah. a good example. That's how I feel like I was. Like, uh, what he, how he liked that I'd be hardcore in one thing. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, for example... That's Me, I, I think a while back, like in middle school and shit, I think I was a hardcore gamer. Mm-hmm. Now I'm hardcore in a one game, and that's Red Dead 2, and I don't really care about any other games. Right. So I feel like that's how a lot of, like, they could be casual anime watchers, I guess. They'd be hardcore in, like, one thing. Right. Like, a lot of niggas who don't watch any other anime, they was hardcore in the super. Like, they was on there watching it, like, twice, tweeting out all the shit, telling niggas it was better than this and better than that. Some niggas even said it was better than Z, which <laughs> so, so that was wild behavior. You them though, right? Niggas was like, no, but I just seen it was my that... niggas. But yeah, like I feel like you be hardcore to one thing, but does that make you a casual to the medium as a whole? Like, am I a casual gamer? Because the only game I play is like Red Dead Two and FIFA sometimes. Yeah. Mm. I, I, me, I don't feel like I'm hardcore to anything anymore because I feel like I'm a casual. Like me, whatever I like, I collect whatever I like from that thing. Mm-hmm. But I feel like. You know, I'm not hardcore into one thing, therefore I'm I'm dipping and dodging into other things. Like, you know, I, I got some vinyls, I got some pops, I got some CDs, I got some manga books. We went to go buy some manga books the other day. Yeah, but I feel like when you're like a gamer, you probably like, you could play one game or you really dope at, but you play multiple games. Like, you're a gamer. Like, Shaq, I, I always think Shaq's a gamer because he plays... He plays uh, MMOs. He play all. Of, he's all around. Stra- uh, probably strategy shooters. He played the, the 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 normal shooters. I feel like he's more of a gamer gamer because he could talk about it like oh, but like me, I, I'm a gamer, but not like as I used to be. Like I still keep up with the, like with the culture, what's going on and everything. Like what's coming out. I still listen to the gaming podcasts and stuff like that to stay uh, stay relevant of what's going on and everything. I just want to stay up to date. But I wouldn't feel like I'm like in it like that. Like with anime, I don't keep up as much. I still get anime network updates, but I just just it's just not like that. Music, I'm I, I say I am hardcore with music because I listen to like music period and hip hop. I was a huge hip hop guy, but like that's probably the only thing I probably is, is music because I listen to music every day, all day. I'm gonna listen not all day, but I'm gonna listen to music. Finally adding your boy to Jump Force. Who? That nigga Deku. For real? Deku Deku on yeah, he got like confirmed this morning. He looked bad, but yeah. that game. Was that bad. game was bad. Bro, I'm saying, yeah. nigga. First, I, thought I, I feel like I'm the only one. Like, but yeah, I seen when I seen I what the. It looks like I, Ultimate Tekaichi yeah. graphics. I saw you. Not even that. Like, it looked like Jump um, Force. I mean, I ju- it looked like J Stars. You know, it's the same niggas making it, right? Yeah, yeah it's just, I thought it's it was a real life. Uh, it's a sequel. Oh, I didn't. I don't they know. Added, like a story mode. But yeah, like a to me. This is a story I mean, mode. yeah, they look like, like Avatar story mode because right. it's kind of like Xenoverse with the creature character. You know? Oh, Shaq, we forgot. What do you think defines a hardcore fan for a casual fan? Just a minute. You're just gonna interrupt me talking and then. Oh, you? you I mean, I would have got to that. Oh, I didn't know. Cause I, cause I forgot you still had your piece to say. You literally just said something about Jump Force. Yeah. Boy, say something. Bro, like, my mom was on Jump Force. Now I got to, like, yeah, revert. Jump Force, bro. Yeah, but it looked like you wanted to say something. I didn't want you no, to. No, I was like, talking oh, about Jump Force. No, nigga, I'm good. Oh, Jump Force. I'm already, have, we are already, I don't really have nothing to say because I already have my arguments yeah, about no. this shit. I don't want, yeah. But, I mean, um, regarding Jump Force or whatever, like, I mean, they got, like, a story mode. It's kind of like Xenoverse, basically, but it's just. You gonna play that shit? 
Yes. I'm going to play it, bro, but I don't think I'm going to like it. Because, like, I like games with, like, combos. You don't feel like it's going to be really in depth? Nah, it's, right? not, it's, like, it's kind of like, y'all remember that Dragon Ball Z game that came out? Which one? Uh, Battle of Z? Oh, Remember that? Yeah, that yeah, all right, so how about how about look, bro? How about Z was, bro? It was just like uh, you 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 get him in one hit combo and then knock him away, and that's it. Like you just kept. I I don't like shit like that, bro. I like Z or Tukaichi? Battle of Z. Wait, did you play Jump? Did you play J Stars? Nah, but J Stars was kind of like that. But you can do there's combos you can do on there, but it's still it's still kind of like the same thing. I don't think it's gonna be like it's gonna be like J Stars. I played I played Battle of Z. I don't think it's gonna be like that. It, it I mean, it's gonna be that's how I'm saying like J Stars and Battle of Z combo wise is similar. Well, a lot of anime games are like that though. Except for Xenoverse. Xenoverse is Xenoverse. Xenoverse you got is full, bro. Xenoverse, you got full customization on doing your combos, bro. You don't have full customization of doing your. Combos. Yes, you can, bro. I can. I can. You could change the inputs of the buttons and everything. Not not that. I'm talking about putting people in combo strings that you can oh, just do yeah. whatever. That's what I'm saying. Like, Goku, I can do an infinite combo. And you won't get out unless you, uh, what you call it? But do you feel like Xenoverse, just because you can fit things around you, do you feel like, it's not, I'm not saying it's like cheating, but it's like, is that really like, like What you mean? Fire? I'm saying it's Xenoverse. Xenoverse is fire. technical as fuck. It can, I'm saying it can be technical because you can do so much with it. But I'm just saying like, is it like, Technically, like a fighter, fighter, like. Bro, yeah, I feel like it Would is. You, put on you the can same really. Plus Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter and all that. You can, it, it, if you play niggas online, it's really that hard, bro. It's even harder. Like it's all mind games, bro. That's what. I just, I just feel like it's like that. When you play in a fighting game, I feel like I feel like. It can no, be. you gotta put, bro. You gotta play against people on, bro. No, I'm I, good I, at Xenoverse. No, shit. That's the thing. I played with somebody online. Uh huh. I was playing with these group of guys. They whooped my behind. I mean, I'm like one v ones or groups. One v ones. Okay. See, and this is the thing, though. I had Goku. Ah, oh, he used Goku. He didn't even do this move. That's why I knew there's certain little technicalities that they know about the moves and stuff. That's why there's so many nerfs and patches for that game because yeah, yeah. there's so many things that are broken in that system itself. That's the universe one. Man, that's every game, bro. Every fighting game has broken ass shit. Mortal Kombat got patched like 80 times, bro, because niggas complaining about, oh, Liu Kang, you can't, you can't hit between his uh. His uh, combo string canceling or, it, or is Xenoverse, I, I is like Xenoverse like esports worthy for a fighter no, game? No, I mean, like no, it's no, no, is it esports worthy for a fighter game? Bro, if it if it it can be, bro. Let me see. I, I, like, bro, it can be, bro. Look, let me see. I feel like Xenoverse can make you feel like a beast, like just because you have your yeah, moveset. What do y'all think is esports worthy? I'm, I know me fighter. when I think of fighter. Uh, fighter. No, fighter. yeah, because it's because I feel like what you're. Game, okay, look, 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 look. What makes a game? Cause, Cause I feel like if you like, all right, I like when it's like when you're in a space. I feel like Xenoverse you could fly around. I don't like that when it, I'm not. You, no, no, I'm not saying just because. Saying I'm saying that's why I fight. That's why they have fighters. They got Dragon Ball fighters. Fucking Tekken, Tekken, Soul Calibur are all a 3D space. No, 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 not like Shaq, that, Shaq. No, Shaq, come, come on, on no, Shaq. You're, you're forcing that. No, come on. Well, I'm talking about well, flying no, and all that with Xenoverse. Really you can fly, fly away. Like, That's what I'm saying. Hold on, hold on, man. Let me weigh in on this with something very important. You know what? Fuck all that. Yeah, fuck that. Why does Jump Force only have one female character? Sexism is a problem. Hey, because there's not that many good characters in Shonen. That's why. Wow, There's not that many good characters. saying that women can't be good characters? In Shonen, yes. But you don't feel it? Wow. What one female they got? See? He's crazy. Nigga, they got Boy Hancock. Oh, yeah. I forgot. She, she, there's I like two out of what? How many animes? Don't, it? don't matter. They man. both are trash. No, but I'm saying there's only right tricks. You know what? I apologize. Thank you. Women, yuck. Anyway, back to what y'all was talking about. Bro, bro, but. I, I can't I don't feel like I can argue out, argue with y'all on this because y'all don't really oh my God. Chase you don't really play fighters and you don't understand what makes a fighter a, a, a competitive fighting game how do you know I don't know what this is because you don't even play online nigga so I you, do you so play do you I don't play online I can't understand why it's a fighting do, game okay do you bro you don't understand like competitive the the competitive competitive side of fighting games, bro. Why do you say that? You act like I don't have YouTube to look at. Something I don't understand. You have YouTube, but I just feel like without you, you don't Why play do you it, so you don't understand. Something to understand what it means. So what? So, okay, well, what makes a fighter esports worthy, bro? 
what makes a fighter esports worth? The technicalities, the frame rates, and all that. Yeah, that the goes space, into it. all the space of flying, that shit don't matter, nigga. It, will it not does work. matter. No, it doesn't, bro. Shame. Nigga, okay, what if you flying all the way over there have to do with anything about fighting somebody? Shaq, one, that's a game where you can literally get nigga, your you friends and gang up on people. Nigga, you can press triangle. What is that? Square, uh, square, whatever. You can press those two together and instantly get to somebody. I'm not saying it is not. It can't be. I'm saying that's just me. My I'm opinion. like it's a technical fight. Then it wasn't meant to be an esports e worthy game, but it can be. It can be. Mechanical wise. Nigga, all fighting games can be. It just has to make it there. If I'm, it's popular enough, it can make it there. Bro. I'm just saying, I just feel, I'm talking about like me, me, my opinion of just a uh, Yeah, I understand. But I understand why, because I see people play it and they be into that shit. And they can yeah, but it wasn't I say, I say it can get technical because you can have your own move sets. Like you can, like you said, you can make an affinity combo. But I'm like, I'm just saying, like, if I don't it, know, if it wasn't no creative character, I'm just saying when you when people flying around, I don't know, just the somebody just flying. I don't know, you still could be. I'm just saying that. Just I'm talking about me, bro. I I understand. I see people okay. do it. No, really. It can be it. What about it? It can be the same shit. You say that can be an e esports game. It can be, nigga. Yo, Shaq, you're out of why here. Why can't it? You're out of here, Shaq. But why can't it? But, it, but, but really, but really. Why can't it? It can, but it's really why a button it? master, no, though. You're not giving me no but you hear me, but answer. it's more like a button master. It can, bro, okay. Xenoverse is also a button master, bro. But that does not win you the game at all. That's not any game. Okay, you can, uh, yes, you can but button master the game. Match. So, back to my question. What makes it not esports worthy? You're not giving me no. I never said those, it couldn't be esports worthy. You yeah, Chase is, but he's I not giving Naruto, a real... I, said, I, I asked him Naruto. He said Naruto can be. It can be. Nigga, it's all mind game. Bro, you think you can go online and mash one button and beat somebody? Literally, yes. That's no, you can't, you bro. You press that all right, button for everything. So can you beat a player that's been playing the game? Yeah. You can beat... So, all right, so if I tell you to get on PS4 and fight my homeboy Terrell who plays the game... Like it's a competitive game, you think you're gonna beat them just by pressing one button? If you know how, I promise you, you won. If you know how, I did that how, when you, I didn't play Naruto. You know how, and I got my ass. No, because this is the thing about Naruto. When it comes to Naruto, certain moves and things like that. If you know how the character moves, you know how to fight that person. Because nigga, that's all. Just because you know, bro. If you get a Mortal Kombat, no, nigga, not Mortal okay, Kombat. Okay, you can have Mortal match. Kombat, not Mortal Kombat. It doesn't matter. It's the same. It's the same mm -hmm. thing, Nick. Yes, it is, nigga. I'm all competitive when fighting games. How you gonna tell me? When I press X with Mortal Kombat, what, what am I doing? A kick, nigga. When I press X on Ultimate Ninja Storm, what am I doing? I don't know what a kick jump. is. A jump. All right, so a what? Jump. When I press up on the D-pad. Nigga, all right. Look, Kombat. look. Both games have a hit button. Both games have... You can no, jump. No, Naruto has one hit button. It doesn't matter if it's just one hit button, nigga. If you're, not smarter, hit if you're not smarter than your opponent, you're not going to beat them, nigga. It's all technical. That's what's like it's all... Bro, all, all, all games in general have mechanics, nigga. Every single fighter game on Earth has a fucking mechanic, nigga. Frames. Frame every data, single all video game. Every single video game has a mechanic. You all right, but I'm just saying fighter I'm talking general. about a, fighting, a good fighter. Nigga, you know... All right, that's look. That's fair and not cheap. No, because be real. Chase. There's characters in Xenoverse that are Fight me in Xenoverse there's, and see if you can beat me. Fight me in Xenoverse. Nah, no, that's the. Hey, hey, that's all. Hey, podcast. I'm not listening to this. Listen, bro. You saying that's fair? Fight me. Automatically dodging, that's fair. Fight me in Xenoverse. Fight me in Xenoverse and see if you can beat me. Nigga, you can have way more skills than me. Nigga, you can have way more skills than me. I swear you won't beat me in Xenoverse. Shit, this is going to be like Goku. Nigga, you can have way more skills than me. Nigga, I swear you won't beat me in Xenoverse. Bro, all right, you want to do it? You want to do it today? No, I don't want to play the game. Exactly, you have. It's not gonna go nowhere. Go. Even if I do, I'm. All right, all right. I'm about to be calm right now. Listen, this is coming from somebody that plays competitive games and a person that doesn't even play competitive at all, bro. So this argument, nobody can really argue argue about it. But to me, just knowing fighting games in general, those games can be esports worthy. It's about being big. Marvel. Didn't make it to the esports scene because people didn't like the animations, people didn't like the mechanic. It, they just they didn't like the game in general, so it didn't make it. If it's not a popular game, it's not gonna make it. I, I feel like that's I, what that's what gets into the esports, nigga. I watch all that. Xenoverse, all the time. it could be in it. It can't be. I'm just talking. I know. I know it can. I'm just saying, like how I was looking my my opinion, no, but I know can, I know how people play it. It can be. It, it can be. Bro, I play Xenoverse competitive. I mean, you can't. I don't care what nobody says. You cannot get on there and mash. You can go in there and fight Neil. He's going to destroy you. But there's plenty of characters where, oh, they have that loophole move. So it's mechanics. You got to find a way around okay, it. Okay, we have two different opinions. Shaq's it's coming from. I know fighting games, bro. 
I know what they look for. I watch only East. When you when I'm on YouTube, what do you see me watching? Number combos. Nigga, because that's all I want. I, it's not even more, only Mortal Kombat. I watch every esports game. Bro. I'm not. I'm not saying that you don't every know more. Game, bro. It's it's. Yeah. Shaq, it's I'm, we we know it. We like I said, it is two different opinions. You are more on the hardcore side. Y'all gotta watch it. If y'all will watch it, y'all will see it from a way different perspective than what y'all see now. Shaq, I, you gave me the perspective. I understand. You know more about it. That's why I'm like, I understand what you're saying, bro. Because right, I, 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 I understand because when I watch Game of Illuminati, they have a guy that's uh, he's a professional uh, fighter in it. And he talks yeah. about, oh, he do Mario come. He on the team and everything. He esports, mm -hmm. and uh, he talk. He really competitive in Xenoverse and stuff like that. He talk about all that stuff. So I understand that he talk about popularity and what games can get into it. Yeah. But I just say I'm talking about me. If I'm watching it, I would rather watch some like that be like fighters or something like just the two. Oh, yeah. But I'm, yeah, but I understand it can make it because I heard because I remember when uh uh Nomad that's his name. I, if I wasn't mistaken, I think he said last year that it might be coming to esports Xenoverse two. Cause like how it boosted, it came out with sixteen. Like the pop, like people were still playing it, like like yeah, still playing it. So niggas still, niggas still yeah, playing now. so that's why I was like, yeah. But other than that, bro. Tech IG three was in you know in sports, mm -hmm. but that shit is super technical. It's, it's in the same lane, bro. Right. It just people got to put it there. Yep. Well, that yeah. was. Hey, that's way more shit that you can do than what you think is on that game. I'm yeah, passing my, my my boy Jorge to yeah, moderate yeah, it to a different, a whole like, another situation. Yeah, no, it don't. It don't. It definitely ain't playing no Tinka AG. All right, well. Y'all niggas, hey, y'all, y'all don't watch it. What I, speaking of jump. Why you saying I don't watch it? Speaking of, hey man, on God, I'm ready to kill myself, Mo. I am ready to die. Kill me, nigga. Bro, on God. This nigga's like eight feet tall. I'm a little scared right now. Hope a nigga out. It's a difference from doing something physically than just watching. Is watching porn the same thing as fucking for real? No, nigga, it's not. That's two. What so in the fuck? It don't matter. It's not the same, bro. It's the same. Bro, hey, Shaq. You know Shaq, Shaq, Shaq hey, Shaq, shut up, nigga. Yeah, but Can we move like, on, please? <laughs> you niggas are not getting nowhere. <laughs> yeah, like, you didn't make yeah. any progress in this argument with each other. I, I'm not excited and the nigga because nobody, nobody plays it or sees it the way I see it. Oh my, okay, yeah, that, that is the Chase, that is no, the argument right there. No one sees it like I do. You that know. always ends your argument right no, there. Nobody, go to the next one. Go go no, you go to the next one. This, <laughs> go to the next one. I'm fucking yeah. tired of getting interrupted. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> okay, will my hero surpass uh, Bleach, One Piece, and Naruto? Yes. <laughs> I agree. Whoa, Remember you said it would. Oh, no, nah, hell no. Nah. Any of them? None of them. I don't feel like it was because it's a different time, bro. It's yeah, just... it's probably more popular than nah. Not Naruto, but... Y'all don't know, like, all right, do y'all don't see how it's like a trend now? Like, oh, to watch anime is cool now? That that never lasts. Coolness never lasts, bro. When something cool in the moment, it don't last. That's not going to be a thing. So I'm going to just tell y'all that. I don't think it's going to surprise Dragon Ball. I don't think it's gonna surpass well, neither of them. Could. I don't think neither of them. Dragon Ball Z is more popular than most cartoons. I feel like my hero is popular now, and I feel like this little love for anime for a lot of people that just get into it, it's not gonna keep going. So, bam. And I feel like it don't anime don't got. I don't feel like it got younger kids like that, like younger kids like us when we was little. Cause my hero, it comes on on what on what channel? Adult Swim Cartoon Network. Yeah. Adult Swim bunch of kids not just really watching adult swim like that well, that was our age when it was different from us it's a different area man them niggas all on their phones doing other things it's popular because a lot of people like us watch it in our age group i feel do y'all see a lot of little kids when you went to your little thing your little comic book thing you went to and you mean you meant uh chris i've seen a whole bunch of kids with my hero like, stuff i've seen even seen like a mom and, and a son and her son was like younger than i feel like yeah younger, younger than right eight years old part of it but another part is a lot of that's the most yeah a lot what chase saying i think it's a lot of niggas with children like yeah, my they're like, putting their kids on the yeah kids are probably gonna put their friends like on. I, I i let I, my nephews I see, like, watch a lot of that was like the that's most what i'm saying but a lot of their families probably watch well i'm anime. just saying but little kids too because it was a mom and a son doing it 
Yeah. I'm saying a lot of little kids. That was the most thing I seen was was my hero. Around. Yeah, because it's, it's big at the moment. But I'm saying like anime, as a whole, and that anime is popular right now. I don't think it's gonna bubble over though. It's gonna, I just don't. I don't see it. I don't think it's gonna happen. If it do, shoot me dead. Suck my wing. Oh, I was gonna shoot you dead either way. So. You think it happen, Jack? You think my hero can surpass the top three? I'm right now. Bleach. I think it's already bigger. Than yeah. One piece. I don't think it's bigger than One Piece. I think it's bigger than Bleach for sure. Like, niggas didn't really heard about One Piece. Over Most niggas I know who like don't watch anime. They don't know nothing about no One Piece. But a lot yeah, of a niggas, lot of niggas, at least like watch One Piece. at least a lot of niggas have like cursory knowledge about My Hero. Like they know. <clears> I mean, I just feel like One Piece. Uh, My Hero was just put out like. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how it got to the point it is, bro. It's a great anime. Don't get me wrong. But I just feel like it was just like uh, better just promotion for it, I guess. It came out the right time. Like, right when two of the biggest, like, shonen shits was ending, My Hero came out. Like, what, it also, uh, Bleach was ending in fucking Assassination Classroom or whatever. But, yeah, like Tevin said, One Punch Man kind of made serial hero shit in anime popular. And then we seen, oh, this one just came out. It's doing that. And doing it almost as well. So they let's push it. Plus it's in like Shonen Jump, which is the biggest ones out. So they was like, all right, yeah, let's push this. Because they try to do it. And you can even see that it kind of, it worked for them at least. Because for Black Clover, it's not working as well. Like over here at least. I mean, in Japan, I guess it's popular or whatever. But game. My Hero was like top. It was second in manga sales this year after One Piece. Like it Chris even beat, yeah, it even beat Attack on Titan. Chris Sabat don't even think it, it's going to beat My Hero. Like Black Clover is. I was like one thing I, I, Black Clover has a chance to I feel like One Piece I mean One Punch Man could have been in this spotlight if it pushed it out like if it was if they had more episodes if it was covered out it came out just 12 yeah so uh, that's a good yeah, thing cause I feel like my hero started pushing it out yeah, one punch man look at Attack on yeah. Titan 1 season 1 and season 2 like the excitement level and then look and it, and it cause of that long ass punch. and watch when One Punch Man come out like one, my, Attack on Titan is low key back now but it's never gonna be as big as season 1 yeah. They kind of fumbled the bag. Like One Piece season two is coming out next year. It'll probably be big, but it ain't gonna be that cultural force that One Piece. I mean, One, one Punch, Punch Man won. Where right. One Punch Man is another one of them things that like niggas who don't know nothing about anime. They know about like the bald nigga who be beating niggas with One Punch. So they kind of fumbled the bag. Too. And we in that give give me what I want now mode. Like we in that generation. Like get oh I want music now. I want it next week. I want give me it. You know what I mean? So like. My hero already how, how many seasons is it in? Like it's just been going on. It's just been ongoing. Season four, it's not coming out till October. Yeah, see, it's keep moving on. It's keep going, and it's for to get. Hey, and it's for to get <laughs> trash. What, my hero? Yes. <laughs> it's for to get. It's gonna go. <laughs> hey, I hey, I've been read. I don't read the manga no more, but how I was talk, how y'all talking? It's not. It's not how far I was. Manga's still amazing. Even though I ain't, I ain't reading no more. Still dope, but I feel like it's going to... I don't have time to really be it's into it like that no more. I just can't get into it no more. Bro. With the vacuum we have right now, I think my hero going to get bigger. Because the other big ones of the last couple of years, One Piece, that shit is like fluky. Because season two is coming out, but it's not going to be by the same niggas who did season one. So it's probably not going to look as good. Wait, what show? One Punch Man. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> What? One Punch Man and uh, no, he said one piece of oh, oh, okay. Piece I thought, I was like, oh, no, nah, ain't nobody watching that bullshit, but uh, <laughs> uh yeah, the, like if you think of like the if you think of like since 2000, since 2010, you know what I'm saying, like since 2010, the like five biggest anime explosions was like number one's easily Attack on Titan, like in 2012, and the anime for that doesn't come out regularly, so it kind of loses its buzz. Same with One Punch Man, My Hero was the only one that was like. Right when niggas was like, I need that My Hero Season 3, they was like, My Hero Season 3 what next month. What was you watching today on Snapchat? Was I watching today? Yeah. Oh, that was a shit called like SSS Grid, man. That shit's hard. Yeah. You just watch on VRV? Yeah. Yeah. This nigga, uh. Hey, y'all should watch that. SSS Grid, man. It's on Crunchyroll, Funimation, I believe. Maybe Hulu. But, uh, yeah. Crunchyroll and Hulu? And VR? I mean, Funimation? Wait, no, I didn't watch it over. I watched it on Funimation. Cause you know I watch that dub like an adult. Ain't nobody got time to listen to those fucking chinks. <laughs> oh, yo, it's topic. 
But uh, now, oh yeah, speaking of chinks, so y'all remember when Smash Ultimate leaked like a couple weeks ago? Mm-hmm. Now Kingdom Hearts three, they leaked the whole game. Early. Yeah, I heard something. So why these Japanese? Oh, and and remember when fucking uh, PSN got hacked like three times? Right. Ch- Tevin, why are these Japs so bad <laughs> at protecting their shit? <laughs> Oh man, I don't think this is really my strong suit to like, you know, to get into this. I don't, I don't know why they're they're leaking that stuff early, man. Hold up, then that hold up, you can go from the yakuza, right? Ain't that Japanese? They put out a demo and end up accidentally putting out the whole game, right? Yeah. Right? Right? They kind of been fumbling the bag, bro. So, too many accidents are just happening, man. It's, I feel like more are gonna be coming, bro. We don't have switches, neither of us. And I don't even have no homie that would switch. You played it? I'm gonna play it on Christmas Day. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna play it with uh with uh, with tape. But... Yeah, nigga, I mean I don't know. But uh what was I gonna ask y'all? Oh yeah, do y'all think that Black Clover has a chance to get to like not super big but like to M8 my hero academia level? No. Cause it kind of failed like in its first push. But nigga said that it's getting better now. And Crunchyroll, like the Service, they're like pushing it heavy, so I think it might have a chance. Especially since I heard it gets good right when they're showing it, like right now. So I don't know, man. I feel like maybe they might have fumbled it off for like execution at the beginning, but they might have a chance to get bigger now, or whatever. Oh, it might be, it might be that but that One Piece thing. Yeah, catch people at first, but yeah, it's gonna get people later on. I think One Piece caught people at first. You think so? A on lot four of kids? On four kids? I'm telling, I'm just saying a lot I'm of people for, yeah, we, we all watch people around stuff, my, yeah. my age group are like a, a y'all is just like oh, one, one piece one piece one piece one of my favorites one piece bro everybody I literally know except for y'all niggas don't fuck with one piece everybody I know fucks with it that's what I'm saying y'all don't fuck with it I'm like I get some of the synopsis I'm, nah, I'm just saying, y'all don't fuck with it, bro. Everybody else that I know besides y'all just don't fuck with it. That's what I'm saying. So I, that's why I say I don't see Say everybody, they do fuck with it. They fuck with it. Everybody he knows. I was gonna say, like, I know mad niggas that niggas, don't even know what one piece is. Them niggas that put me on, I didn't never used to want to watch one piece, but them niggas put me on that shit. Shaq said and watched them thousand it, episodes. Those was your friends that put you on. Maybe, <laughs> Shaq, I had a, we had a hold on, yeah, right? What a thousand episodes I was asking of greatness. You. Yeah, no, nah, I was saying it was your homies who put you on one piece. It was some of my homies, and then like random people that would be hopping in the parties too. You need some better friends. <laughs> it was a running joke with my anime friends, like niggas who like, like One Piece crazy. <laughs> like they some weirdos or something. Like One Piece, I don't know. I just never liked it growing up. It just wasn't for me. Yeah, but from like a lot of people I know that read the manga, it's like two different. Like I don't know. It, it kind of feels like two different uh, fan people. Like fan, well, like fan even bases. though you could, yeah fan bases to me. I know a lot of people that just read the manga. And I know people that watch the anime. You yeah. probably read the manga. Too. I, re- I do both. I read the manga just because the, the manga is like far more ahead. Right. Not extra far, but it's far you more ahead. You still been reading it lately? Uh, yeah, it's, it's some really good shit happening right now. Shaq is the innovation type. I don't know. I, just... I am. Well, I know because you was like, I, you I mean, why I just you... watch the why just watch the anime when I can know what the fuck is going on right now? No, I'm no, I'm I'm gonna say for example, isn't that why you started watching the Super Sub? I just always I just been watching sub regardless. I haven't been watching. You watch Dragon Ball Z since. sub? Yeah, uh, no, nah, I watch Dragon Ball Z regularly. Hey. But like after 2015, I start watching everything sub. Hey, them niggas who watch like the original Dragon Ball Z sub need to be shot in the street. <laughs> <laughs> like nigga, you agree, you know you grew up watching the dub. Don't be a bitch. Everybody grew up watching. Like, ain't nobody trying to hear that. Mm, we good, bro. But uh, speaking of Dragon Ball, Shonen Jump put out their own like little manga app because you know how most niggas if they read manga now they got to read that shit illegally because mm-hmm. it's real hard to find a, like legally online unless you mm-hmm. buy it but that takes like months so yeah they put out a service where all the mangas from them you could read them the day they come out for free or if you pay two dollars a month you could read all the manga they like ever like published mm-hmm. yeah so i mean it feels like a good move uh i got it because i wanted to try it the app is trash so far but yeah. i mean i'm gonna give them a few days to like figure it out I think it could be good for getting more niggas in the manga since that shit is like really cheap. And yeah. they got most of their like hard hitters on there like Dragon Ball, One Piece, Bleach, all that. Oh, My Hero Academia. I subscribe too. I'm going to start reading My Hero. I only, I only read mangas like after I like catch up on uh, anime. Then when I want to know like what else happens after that, then I'll just go straight to manga. 
But that's how I did like every anime. How long anime. does it take you to catch up to an anime? Like, say it's, just depends say on. It's like a Black Clover 60 episode anime. How long would that take for you to catch up? Me? I'll probably like watch two episodes a day. So it'll take you about like what? A month? Probably. You catch up with like an anime that's far along? No, it's like 60 uh, episodes. I said, I, I said anime that's 60 episodes. How long would it take you to catch up? <clears throat> no, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't be taking me long to catch up with anything because I'm already be watching it when it comes up. Like, if I'm going to watch a new anime, then yeah, it's going to take me longer. Hey, but if I was I was already watching Black Clover, so like I was already caught up on that. Then I already like binge watched the fuck out of One Piece in 2016 when I was in the college. Done with that. So, hey man, let's uh let's get off this weeb shit. <laughs> talk about some nerd shit instead. Let's go talk about some nerd shit real quick with my man Tevin. Me and Chase was at Chili's. Chili's talking about oh, cause I seen a synopsis for the Spider Man movie, the new one. And, oh, I was also talking about the uh, shit. nigga. I'm not gonna spoil nothing, shit. Okay, but uh, it. yeah. So I was I was looking at how much money like, uh, like if you didn't know, Spider Verse made good money here, but all overseas it like Wait, you still haven't seen it flopped pretty much. Yeah. yeah. God dang it, Aquaman made a lot of money overseas, but I don't think he's gonna make that much here. So I was saying, uh, what do you think the last comic book movie to make a billion dollars is gonna be? Because I said either Avengers four or uh, whenever that Batman movie come out. The one that's supposed to have the dude who directed the Planet of the Apes movie. Mm. I just know because Batman be making a billion like all for it. He like Iron Man. Right. Um, I think this is a hard one, bro. I I really think like after a four niggas is like a oh, lot of niggas like that's gonna, included. Yeah, that's we, gonna be the last we, one yeah, to get my money. Cool off of it after yeah. That we grown. yeah, but I feel like mm, it's, I'm, I'm gonna say that's a hard one for me because we still got those hardcore like super fucking comic book geeks that just love to He's see. He's gonna it. say Aquaman. See, I'm so, gonna say that. I mean, that's true, but I feel like they're not the reasons movies be doing well. Yeah, but I know we got those kids. I feel like once the general audience, like after Avengers Four, unless like Justice League Two is like some heat, niggas gonna be like, they ain't. Yeah. I mean, you seen uh, the reaction to uh, to Aquaman so far, like critics liking stuff, but it's not like that many people excited to go see it. Same with uh, Spider Man. Nah, not Spider Man. That made a shitload of money. Uh. Oh, Captain Marvel. Niggas ain't really hurting to see that either. Yeah, I'm not and that's like the... That's Shazam. Yeah. It, Shazam. Right, ain't, no, ain't nobody talk about that movie in like two... Like, at least Aquaman had like great visual effects, which a lot of niggas like, but what the fuck? What, what? y'all like that they showed the trailer in the movie in the beginning? When you, you know the trailer, like, in the beginning. Did they show it in y'all theater? What, the Aquaman trailer? No, the, uh, the Shazam one. Oh no, I'm pretty. They played it. Nigga, I was, oh, yeah. nigga, I would have closed my eyes. I'd be like, all right, man, get the shit out of my face. <laughs> but yeah, like a couple years ago, that would be a combo movie I might go see. But now I'm like, I ain't really I'm trying to see this shit, Chief. Yeah, like I hit, I watched combo movies with my roommate because that's just something we've been doing since we was young. But I was like, hey, bro, you really trying to see this Aquaman? Or uh, what's, what's good, man? I don't, know, I don't know about this one. But uh, yeah, Tevin said a few years, I mean, not years ago, a couple yeah. weeks ago. I've been saying it now, I think. They got like three or four years left for that shit like really hits the wall. Cause like Avengers movies are done for the for the near future. Like at least for like they said the next one isn't for five years probably because they want to let all these new characters build up a fan base. Like unless they do something real wild with the X Men movies whenever they come, that's like their other chance because niggas really fuck with X Men. Like X Men movies they've been trash and they still kind of make good money. But even then, yeah man, I feel like it's like. Three, four years down the road, like once Spider Man and Batman movie come out, like mm-hmm. I don't know, dog. You just gotta look at it like, like let's say with the Star Wars stuff, you got the main Star Wars story, and you got those. Look at Solo, Solo the new shit. I feel like when we help, gonna have like these other Marvel. Well, uh, that made a lot of money though. Yeah, but it didn't do nothing like like the other ones, you know. It made. A little bit less than uh, the. It didn't get my. Aliens? I'm gonna say this. It didn't get my money. Oh, I was gonna say it made a billion. But your favorite. You said huh? Solo made a billion. Wait, not solo. I'm tripping. I'm talking. You about thinking Rogue 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 of force? Oh, oh yeah, Solo made like five hundred. Yeah, I'm talking about Solo. Oh, no, Rogue One made a billion. Cause, cause of who? Oh, ain't nobody go watch. Uh, what? Why they go see Rogue? Say, please. Cause it was a woman. Vader, nigga. Oh. Vader. Sexist. <laughs> this boy <laughs> goes straight to the why, woman. That's why I wonder why Vader. A lot I feel like everybody want to know, like, we know what happens, but it's like, damn. I didn't even know he this... was in that movie. You didn't watch it? Yeah, I don't. I feel like a lot of people didn't know about that scene until after that movie came out. No, we knew Vader was going to be in it because it's a freaking prequel. 
I mean, our prequel is a, it's before it. Yeah, a prequel, basically. It's before the episode, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, episode. Solo, Solo, I remember that, that was like a flop. Yeah, I feel like it was a couple reasons for that, but still, yeah. So I feel like we gonna have, it's like Ant-Man. Ant-Man don't make as much money as Iron Man, they don't. I feel like. Ant-Man didn't make as much as Homecoming, did it? The first Ant-Man. Let me say, you got, you got those side characters, so now. Like 300. So now all this new movies is gonna be mad side characters that we don't have no connection with. So I feel like it's not gonna make as much money. Hey, that made no. a lot of money. With Dark Strange? It did. Visually amazing. That's gonna be yeah, but if you go on like But I rewatched it. Saying, that's a good example. Ain't nobody trying to even with I uh fucking Avengers three just coming out, was niggas wasn't trying to see fucking Ant Man in the Wasp. Right. Yeah. I ain't gonna see it. Like, like I know. did because I fuck with him, but Sorry. even actually I seen it twice, but anyway. Don't. It's all right. I'll pray for you. But yeah, bro. I feel like yeah, the the MCU niggas kind of winding down a little bit. Like Spider Man probably gonna carry him for a little bit just because he's like, you know, the second most popular superhero on the planet. Who's the first Batman? Yeah, probably. Like Superman technically, but ain't nobody really check for that nigga no more. Yeah. Like Man of Steel ain't make shit. But uh, yeah, nigga. I mean, yeah. I feel like for a couple more years, niggas will be into it, and then like a real bad one. Like whenever Venom two come out. I feel like Venom 2 could... could oh, like, you mean Carnage? Venom 2 could kill comic book movies for a couple... For, for like a decade, if it's bad. Because the first one made a shitload of money. But when the second one come out, niggas is like, cool. And they probably gonna spend like a bunch of money to make it. Like, the first one was cheap. We could tell. But yeah, the second one, when they got Carnage and shit in there... That could be raps. <laughs> <laughs> that or like Suicide Squad 2 or something like that. Or like whenever... Uh, Guardians 3. One of them movies could be the one that niggas are like, why did they spend $200 billion on this? I'm just done with it, dog. Shaq, what's your opinion? I don't think superhero movies. Shaq, man. What about it, though? Like you didn't hear him talking? I mean, I hear y'all talking, but what was the, like, main topic? Shaq. Bro, what was the, the podcast, bro, bro, what was the main topic? No it's like, what, how far do we think another superhero movie will make a billion after Avengers, basically? Like we nah, don't I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah. Not right now, just because the main uh, Avengers characters are about to be done. Yeah, bro. Come on. Bro. Go yeah, I'm gonna do my uh, this week Black Excellence. Black Excellence this week goes to Ryan Coogler in the hey. cast of Black Panther. Mm. That shit got nominated for like I think three Oscars. Like it yeah. probably not gonna win any of them because niggas don't respect comedy. They got fans. costume design or something. They got costume, uh, makeup, I think, and then also visual effects, which some niggas are Look, mad about. Let me see. They ain't giving us no fucking writers, no stories, bitches. Number White's gonna win that yeah, shit. Logan, yeah. You hear me? That good. You hear me? Nothing, nothing but White's yes. gonna, nothing but White's gonna win those awards. I didn't see Logan. That's what I'm saying. They not gonna give. They not gonna give yeah, no, nothing if else. A, if a black superhero was gonna win anything, it gotta be like amazing. Yeah. Like it have to be like fucking Spider Man two level cool with niggas. I don't know. They bugging me. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, you know, congrats to them for that. And also, you know, Black Excellence goes to the Crisp guy. Oh Zach. yeah. He's the, he, he's, the, he's the official barber of the fourteen twenty three TV podcast. Oh, yeah. Nigga making what well, bees on his crew and stuff right he don't, now. He don't like getting haircuts. But uh <laughs> Yeah, bro, those, them two niggas doing well when so many niggas are going astray. If you want to get a haircut from my man's, his Twitter is Zach R the Barber. Alright? Zach R the Barber. Speaking of barbers, by the way, uh, a really big topic on Twitter this week was women and gay men talking about how homophobia is rampant in the black barber shop. Huh? I wanted to get your opinions on this, Tevin. You're 35, so you've been in a lot of barbershops. Jack? A lot of okay. niggas online were saying that there, the niggas don't even talk about gay Yeah, I, I haven't been in a barbershop in a long time. I'm gonna say, I ain't been in a barbershop in like, like four or five years. I don't even have a fade. I sh I'm my own barber. But as my times of being in the barbershop, I never hear no mentions of no homophobia like nobody talked about no gays mostly sports music and women yeah bro like, like even then, all the time about, like, and that's what i'm saying sports 
Yeah, yeah. Women, a lot of, you know what I mean? But still, it's women there because you have mostly barbershops I went to growing up was split. It was yeah. beauty and barber. And it'd be mad single women. Yeah. But and my mama yeah. be there t- chatting it up with them. It's wild. Have four niggas dispel that rumor because, bro, I've been, I don't get my hair cut at barbershops no more because I have, uh, for the last couple of years, my homies cut me. But I spent a lot of time in there when I was younger. Same. Like Tevin said, all they talk about is sports. Uh, they be having movies on, so sometimes yeah. they'll talk about movies. And you, the only women they be talking about in there usually is like fucking famous. Like they'll be like, oh yeah, like, like Halle Berry. Yeah, like Halle Berry, that bitch bad. But ain't nobody really like, hey bro, you niggas hate gays. I'm like, yeah, uh, like, you like, guys want to talk about some queers real quick? No. Like, if if I went in a barbershop and niggas was talking about gays, I would probably leave. They like, probably did that on the salon side. Y'all don't know this. They try to put a lot of homophobia. Like on the black people, bro. Like we just don't like. Like we got a lot of gay people. In the, like I got gay cousins. It's not like I don't love them the same. You know what I mean? I just don't drink up the same cup. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you yeah, know, this dude said that like. A lot of times, them niggas be trying to come for like black spaces where straight black men hang out or whatever, and like make it seem like niggas on that shit. While I feel like. Like, Tevin said, niggas ain't really talking about that. Like, don't nobody go to their house and be like, hey, dad, you hate gays? Like, we be talking about other shit. Like, th- bro, what time are we ever talking about, like, us chilling and we just start talking about gay niggas out of nowhere? We don't care. Yeah, like, ain't nobody really hurting over that shit. Like, yeah, niggas, I think it has to do with, like, a lot of them places, like, Tevin's favorite publication, Blavity.com. They like talking about how, how straight black men is the enemy of black people and all this. And so they be trying to take places where niggas go to like hang out or whatever, like barbershops and shit, and be like, yeah, niggas talking about how they hate gays and women in there. And I'm like, bro, that shit does not ever come up from what I remember when I was younger. Like, check, you got uh fucking, has it happened to your experience? When you did go. Yeah, nobody talked about, no, bro, nobody's worried about that, bro. So like, I don't know why they're trying to like, who said that? Bro? Who bro, said that, bro? Black men, bro? It was a, it was like a big like thing, like a bunch of like. Why though? Like, what, what, what was the point of bringing that? Like, bro, that is not happening in barbershops, bro. We are not. Concentrated I understand on like why people bring up shit like that. Bro. We concentrate on the fade, right? You need to concentrate on your fade. Hey man, what, we we down right now. You know, I'm just playing. Chris Scott is my, out right now. Nigga, my hair is tripping too. We good. Oh, I want to talk about one other thing. I didn't know about y'all heard of it. Tevin, have you heard of slave play? <laughs> oh, please explain this. I, this okay, I haven't really got into it yet. I'm, I'm about to read a. I'm yeah. about to uh, tonight. I'm gonna listen to a podcast. That they discussing it, and uh, but I just saw. I think I showed y'all the thing. I don't know, but it's yeah, just I looked like, it up earlier to see what it was about. Yeah, I just that shit disgusting. It's disgusting. Pretty much like I'm like all right. I used to get on porn, right? Not mm. used to. I still do, but it's like oh, this you was. Remember that one Okay, this is years ago. Um, I probably was like 16, 17. But I saw this thing. It was a black guy and a white girl, and it was like ghetto gaggers. Mm. What the hell? Ghetto gaggers is racist. Super racist. Yeah, so I went there. I was like, wow. So as through times, I see different sites called We Fuck Black Girls. We do this. It's just, I don't know, man. I, and I, I just really fought like... Even though the porn community, period, is fucking, like, really racist. Yes, yes, yes. Like, yeah, it's like five black porn stars that they let, like, five. Right, you know your value goes down once, if you do everything first. Like, let's say if you're a white porn star, like a lady, and you fuck a black guy right, off rip, you kind of lose it. Hey, that's Some, what, like, what, that's why Alexis Texas haven't had sex with no black guy. That's what Kanye said in the fucking... She forced that shit. What was that? What's the one? <laughs> oh, hell of a life. He says... She say her price will ever go down if she fuck a black guy or do a gang, do anal or gang. Like, yeah, they see having sex with a black dude in porn is worse as, like, getting fucking trained in porn or, like, getting fucking hey, ass. Bro, look, I've been on some sites, bro, and then, like, if you see... Uh, hey, you can send me the link, though, later. I mean, you want to look at the comments? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, for uh, research purposes, right? Yeah, of Just course. I'm on Jariah's. Hey, look, so, I mean... For some reason, I always look at comments of like even in like YouTube videos and, and all that shit, bro. They be stuff. racist as fuck, bro. They, like nobody wants a white girl fucking a nigga, bro. For some, I like, I understand the past, bro, but let the past be the past, bro. And I can get into something. Uh, today, today, me, 
me, Tyler, and another guy at work, we discussed the situation with Tyler Tom. Probably like slave play, but yeah, we, we brought up the Thomas Jefferson and Sally Hemmings situation Bro, again. That was an aggravating match. And me and, uh, me and the other gentleman were just saying, like, okay, she's feel she's inferior to him. He owned her. Like, she kind of felt like she was obligated to probably be with this guy, even though he says in letters that she was, you know, on, coming on to him after he lost his wife and he was that, Yeah, they didn't even mention it, the age difference. Like, yeah, the age difference was, and everything. The, the, she was born when his daughter was born and, like, right. grew up as a servant. Too. Right. So he's pretty much like, fuck He's talking about Thomas was 20-something years old when he lost his wife. So meaning that Sally been into him. I'm like... Because Just, that's, how, how, that's impossible because he was 30 years older than her. Yeah, so like, I'm going to get into this. And, and Wait, do you want to, my bad, do you want to tell niggas what that what slave play is about? Yeah, we you can get into it. I just wanna I just wanna kind of bring into like I'm trying to see. I feel like a lot of women, black women, because it's a slave play. Like, uh, it's a group of black women. We call them bad bitches. They that's my favorite. Time. They want to be <laughs> with a white guy, and they kind of just degrade black men like we're just the scum of the earth, and they're willing to um, let be called a nigga bitch in bed. It's like some sex play stuff. It's just it's really bad, bro. Like, I've been seeing it going on for years, but this slave play stuff is disgusting. And I'm going to let my my B mic over here, Jorge, get into this bag and Your tell them. Black <laughs> no, bro. All right, talk about this, man. All right, man. So, slave play is a play written by this 29 year old film student nigga. I think it's a dude. Or, no, it is a dude. I don't know if he's black or not because I don't really want to look him up. But apparently it depicts like three different relationships between like free people and slaves. And like the one that got a lot of people hot is one where it's like this master dude and he's fucking this slave girl. Mm-hmm. And she like twerking for him and shit. Mm-hmm. It's pretty much like some bad winchery going on in this fucking play. And yeah, niggas are saying it's disgusting and like it makes sense. Like they make it look like it's like a like a relationship when it's really a nigga who owns somebody making them fuck. Like oh, the bitch. Yeah, no, a lot, a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people, they was on her head for, like, even being in this play with this nigga doing all this shit. And, yeah, nigga, that's, like, this dude said, uh, this one, I think it was Tariq Nasheed, which he's kind of a, he's kind of a fuck nigga, too, but. Wait, I think that's B's guy. No, I mean, I fuck with him on some stuff. He be wilding on some other shit. Like, on yeah, 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 but uh, he said, yeah, he was like, he was like, imagine if a nigga tried to make a play about fucking hitler and he got some fucking jew girl and he she like fell in love with him and it was like yeah she was trying to like get like nigga if and if that shit came out that shit's getting canceled like the next week because niggas don't play that holocaust shit and slavery is like way worse i mean in my opinion it's way worse because it destroyed a whole like culture and like almost destroyed a compliment and shit and then it's like we had a we had a freaking sequel to slavery. We had Jim Crow. It's just like, and stuff Wait, goes on. It's not even over. Still. It's like, not even over. We still like, live yeah, it. Yeah, comparing the, Jew, the Holocaust to slavery is like apples and oranges, but it's like one apple and it's like a whole fucking bag of oranges. Like, nigga, that shit's still going on. Yeah. And a play that, like that, about a slave girl, like, whatever they could say is consent or whatever, but when somebody got that much power over you, can't consent, like, to having sex with them. It's like somebody in jail. If a dude who work in a jail fuck a prisoner, it's it's like they consider a rape because she can't really say no even if she wanted to because that nigga like anything he say they gonna buy it. so if he say she say no she know like deep down this nigga could you know say whatever he want pretty much slavery was like that except they not gonna like snitch on you and get your sentence like made big or whatever they might kill you because they own you and to bring it back to what Jorge was saying with like him saying things about the holocaust and stuff they don't play with that I just feel like I know, like in the Jew community, they don't like dwell on the past. But I feel like they know they have they kind of have the um, I want to say the um, the ability to like don't dwell on the past because they could fit in with the norm of like white people. You plus know what they mean? got like and a lot was, more, nigga. They got yeah, a fucking nation. Yeah, and plus our stuff is we're constantly going through it. We still see it. We still it. They tell us to forget about it and try to move on, but it's like it's still in our faces. You know what I mean? You still yeah, put, like, out, you'll put out a slave movie every other day. Bro, every even other in year. the fucking. Just going over, like, it's psychologically. The psychological it's impact that 300 years of, like, servitude for a whole culture versus, you know, 6 million niggas. The Holocaust is terrible, but those niggas who got hurt by it, a lot of them were dead afterwards. Right. Mm. 
And like here, every nigga who's born now has to know, like, yeah, dope, we wasn't slaves no more, but you still got to grow up in a country that your parents or your grandparents or whatever, they ain't come here because they wanted to, because they had hope or whatever. They was fucking dragged over here and their kids was took up and made slaves too. How and that shit affected them, which affected them, which affected them, which affected us. Like, like me growing up while I grew up, like not even 15 minutes away, it's a plantation right up the street. And so it's like, do shit yeah. Too. So it's like, like when you did out the Holocaust, like they not even there. Like we still walking upon and seeing the things like, it's just not the same. I remember, like, I was in my, my neighborhood. Oh, no. I was and, like, in the town. Quick. Oh. In no, the I was going to say something real quick. Oh, that, like, oh, what you want to say? That, you know, today they finally made lynching a fucking federal crime. Yeah. Oh, and my they, nigga, after God. 100, 150, oh, like, dog. And niggas want to say that slavery is, like, bro, that shit is still, we still in this. Like, you remember that dude last year that he fucking, he got hung up in fucking Mississippi. Somebody fucking lynched this nigga. Yeah, that was the beginning of this year, I think. Yeah, no, that was this year. Yeah, yeah like, yeah, like, yeah, that that shit just makes it completely different. But keep going with your yeah. pain. But it's just like we still here. Like we see the like every. I remember being like in my town or whatever, and I was skateboarding uh, by this this feed store, and I saw an old sign over there. It's, it was just you know, it said whites only type shit. You know what I mean? And I was like, damn, like this shit really used to be like this, but like. I don't know, it's like we still here. Like people that were like the Jews and stuff, they don't they don't have to see it all the time. They here. Them. Like every day you gotta wake up and be like, nigga, I'm black. And like this shit gonna happen to me. Or this can happen to me. Or this like this. I don't know. I just I don't know. I just it's like all right, Gambino, I'm right. Even though I don't wanna really get off this kinda off topic, but I remember like when I was like in high school and camp came out and Charles Gambino said, uh, it's kinda corny but it made sense to me. And he was just like, A white person can wear with any hat they want. But it's like when a black person one size fits all. So it's like all y'all like the same. You know what I mean? It's like you could blend. You could do this. You could do that. You could that. But it's like us. It's just. You know what I mean? It's like damn. And plus. Like he was saying with all the psychological shit. It's like inside. People are slaved inside. Like you, I don't know too many group of people. That hate their selves. It's black people that black men. I don't want. I don't want a black woman. I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't know no other race of women. I mean, men uh, that be like, I don't want a white girl. Oh, I don't want this. It's not that many. I hear people say it. It's like as a joke or something. Like, oh, I don't like white girls. But like, and they white. That's not, nobody really just disown yeah. their people like that. I just, but us, it's huge in our uh, community. Like, it's, it's like a normal thing. But I feel like a lot of preferences. Oh, yeah, are, hey, speaking on that, let me tell y'all what Zach told me about uh, some dude he met at work. So like uh, he said, he saw a brother coming there with a uh, a, a white chick, right? Yeah. And uh, I guess when they was talking, uh, Zach asked him about like you know dating a black girl or whatever. Yeah. And the, the dude, the dude's black. He said, "I don't want to date those disgusting apes, yeah. bruh, yeah. bruh. Right. Like, bro, you you black. Your you know, your black. mom is black, bro. Yeah, like." Why? Why would you call him the stupid. nigga? You were bro. What? It's, that's stupid. What kind of it's shit is that, bro? Because look, all right, play that shit pissed me off. Hey, dude. Because look, all right, black people, we were so effed up, bro. Mentally, you kind of want to feel different from your people, bro. Like, I have my one of my closest friends. He know, like, he like to hang out with like white people and stuff, just like to feel like that special nigga or something. Must be talking about me. It's just like, you, <laughs> like why would you? Why would you just want to hang out just to feel? I think a black person feel good, like, oh, I'm different, like I'm this. I hate when people I hate used when to. I used to get that when yeah, I and I used to hate when people were like, oh, you don't talk black, or you're you're not black, you this, da 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 da. And it's that. like, what do you mean, bro? And like, and like, oh, that's like an insult. Like you saying all, like you saying just white people can talk like this, articulate, or black people can't. Like we're all this. It's just it's an insult to my people and me. So, I don't know. I just don't like that. And I feel like a lot of us are enslaved in the, in the mind. Like, some girls think that's cool. Like, oh, it's all right. Racism. Blah, blah, blah. We could do this and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It's just... I think, like, it's deep, bro. Expect, like, if you're black, they expect you to be from the hood. Yeah. All this other crazy shit. Like, like they expect yeah. you to listen around. Music. Right. Yeah. And it's like this. Like... Like, we're just like everybody. Smoke, smoke, if you think about... Us. If you think about everything that we do right now, it can go us back to slavery. Cause some people have the same mentality. Some people want to stay uh, stay in them chains, bro. Like some people still want to be in the field. Some people didn't want to be free. So you got those people now in this mind that's coons, bro. They don't want to be mentally free. 
they rather hate their people and do this and do that. Like I told y'all before, the first crime for first, you know, was a first law was for another black person to tell another black person if they like rebelling or something. Like that's just how it is, bro. You still got people like that in the mind because you got their ancestors that taught the other ones this and that and that. Like some coon shit. It's man. I know so many old coons, nigga, it's pitiful, bro. Some of my family. Bro, that's all facts. And getting back to that play shit. Right. Fuck them niggas. Fuck the black people that was in that shit just to get a fucking check or some shit. Like, bro, you could go do Hamilton or some shit. Some other shit where, like, they ain't making niggas look weak or making black girls look like. Bro, you understand how disgusting that shit is? Like, your grandma, or not grandma, great grandma or some shit was probably getting, like, smashed by the, the fucking boss and they felt like they was trapped. Now you making a play making fun of that shit? Like, dog, that... That shit pissed me off when I first... I was like, bro, really? Like, this the shit... It's so many other stories you could tell. You want to tell a story about this? Like, normalizing that shit? Like, this dude we work with, he was saying, yeah, that Sally Hemsen... I'm not going to say his name, but he was saying she didn't get raped or whatever she wanted. I was like, bro, she was fucking 14. He was 44. On top of that, all this other shit. On top of that, which I don't think we talked about... Bro, you know when he died, he didn't even free all his children? Mm-mm. Like, I think, like, two of them got free, but, like, four of them, they stayed slaves. Like, that shit was not no fucking love story, whatever he wanted to make it sound like. And fuck that nigga for that. So, I mean, yeah, nah, I mean, in terms of that slave play shit, y'all niggas should all feel terrible. I hope that <laughs> shit get canceled. I hope somebody run up on y'all niggas. <laughs> oh, God, that shit, that shit's really, it's really, really fucking unacceptable. But, uh, this, yeah, uh. Let's yeah. let's move on to some a little. Let's let's move on to some. Nah, they get the fucking. Damn, they get the fucking I hope they get the fucking. Like, I hope y'all niggas die. Out of here award? Yeah, you, you, you niggas get that fuck out of here award, no, nigga. Don't make it to 2019 award. Yes, sir. <laughs> but yeah, bro, let's move on to some a little lighter because I feel like that would got real heavy for a good reason. It's a important subject, but uh, let's talk about how fucking Ebro and Hot 97 are some fucking hypocrites. All right, so you know when Ebro was saying that shit about uh. Kodak, yeah, he was like, we we don't let that uh fucking. Hold up, before you get in this, it's so it's like thousands of interview. I mean, rappers or anybody that been on Hot 97, and we brought that stuff up. Bro, that's that's what I'm about. I'm scary. Saying, scary. Yeah, I'm about to say, scary. bro, not even we don't gotta go back it's that time, far, bro. nigga. Let's no no no. Let's go back like three or four months. Mm-hmm. That shit came out about fucking Fab and Emily B, yeah. and that Hot 97 had this nigga performing like. The weekend after But they want to say They care about that shit With Kodak Like right. He obviously did that shit For clicks Or like today They Twitter They was like Would y'all like to see this tour It was fucking King's R&B tour You know who's on the front bro Guess R. Motherfucking R. Kelly Who's like That nigga is guilty as shit There's videos of this nigga So like I don't know I just wanted Good to music, though. Yeah hey, That nigga's go yeah. But yeah I just want to <laughs> say Fuck High 97 That shit is fucking Lame And uh For the people who don't know Can I say a little, just a little Yeah I feel like uh, uh, if you watch the full interview with Ebro and them. Nah, I just saw. Yeah, I just feel like Ebro came in with it. I don't think he liked Kodak anyway. Yeah, one of my homies was a Kodak fan. Yeah. He was like, he was egging him on. I don't think he liked him because he like, kind of touched on the beginning. Like how the Breakfast Club when they first had Six Nine up there. Nah, nah Breakfast Club they, know how. Yeah, to, Breakfast Club know what they doing. Charlemagne yeah, is a. Charlemagne don't know was what trying doing. to just shit on him the whole time. He was talking like I watched that interview. Yeah, I watched both I, of them. I didn't, I didn't like it. No, Six Nine. I like yeah. both of 6ix9ine interviews. I didn't like the first one. Because I feel like they were just coming at him. No, that's they was I'm getting saying. to know him. Telling that's, him about that's everything. Kinda like, that's kind of how Charlamagne like, interview people. Yeah, but... Charlamagne, I'm cool, but like... That, like no, that first... That first... Interview, I like both of 6ix9ine interviews they had with him. First, we want to get to know this yeah, guy. Yeah, the first one is when I really... I was like, oh, I, yeah, I agree with Tevin. Yeah. I think that shit really showed me what that nigga was about. Like, I didn't know shit about 6ix9ine before I first... Watch his interview after that one. I was like, all right, I don't know if I like this nigga, but he definitely got like an interest in mind where he work and shit. Watch him and DJ Academics that first interview he did. I'm, interview, yeah, because DJ Academics was sitting down. Yeah, yeah, I was I not like watching that. Yeah. Interview and they don't be like confronted. Yeah, at, at, at cock eating. I'm yeah, not for the. Shit. I'm not for the watch that. He I knew Charlotte trying to ride his cocky. That's why he was all soft. Yeah, I wasn't for the. Just, I wasn't for the get on that, but it's just get your hands off. But I feel like, um, yeah, man, a lot of these people are uh, um, are freaking. Um, they be hyping on, they hop on little trends, and they just do things just to do it, bro. They wanted clicks. Fuck Hot 97, nigga. I don't even know. Can we explain what happened? 
Oh, oh, what Let's happened? Remember. We talked about it already in the last podcast. Yeah, we did. We talked about it. About this. how you asked him about the yeah. sexual assault shit. We talked about it. So, everybody know we just giving an update. So, yeah. But, uh, Jorge had something to say. Smoke? That Florida smoke? Nah, that nigga better watch out. Niggas got old. Like, Trick Daddy was coming at him. Hey. Bro. Hey, hey nah, nah, did y'all see, did y'all see what niggas said about Trick Daddy? What? Niggas said Trick Daddy looked like a school lunch brownie. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, that shit was hilarious. But uh anyway, bro. Let's move on real quick. You know, a little little lighter shit. Uh I wanna know who wrote this and why the fuck is on here. Potential classic rap albums. Oh, I have a friend from uh high school and middle school that I, that I, um that I went to school with. And he's a writer for like uh he's a writer for albums and stuff like that. He writes pieces on uh dead end hip hop and riffs and rhymes. Mm-hmm. And so uh he put on there that potential classic rap albums for later on, KOD, Daytona, and Black Panther soundtrack. Wait, where is this nigga stay? I think only, <laughs> I think only one kind of could fit in there, and I don't even think it's considered. Yeah, Daytona is the like closest. Daytona. I mean, that's the headliner. But, I think Daytona, you know. Daytona might in a couple years, like it might like in a couple years be a classic, like how niggas say Clips' debut album is a classic, just because it really has like no filler, you know, start to finish. It's a hundred percent, yeah, but KOD. Well, that put, shit didn't even well, get like I, I, real like I, I critical you, praise or nothing. How it's in the climate of you know promoting drug use. How kind of J Cole's in that? Bro, I will kill I this thing. I, I mean, that's obviously not the whole thing. Right, I know, but I'm saying it didn't. Right, a classic. I feel like you can have something. Bro, nobody was talking about KOD like a week after it came out. Yeah, I could feel like I I could have something like to me that to a classic something that's innovative that kind of pushes things. I feel like with Daytona, you have quick. You have a quick album, no fillers, blah blah blah, just straight fire, bro. Everything is heat. Like I don't know, I don't understand people who don't like that album. I just really don't. I will defend that album to the death, nigga, with a fucking lightsaber. Yeah, bro. anybody I've heard say something bad about, they yeah. just don't. They don't like pushing. They just don't like pushing. Or they don't like that Kanye was involved. Like yeah. I've seen really nobody say like. Like I couldn't even shit on that. And I yeah. ain't care for Kanye. Daytona, Kissy Ghost, fire. Even if it was boring, it was still. Yeah. So, right too. Like, it you know, no, yeah, it wasn't yeah. no filler on there. Every time he was like, oh, this song been going along the line. I don't know if y'all and know. Next song. I feel like even though Saba album ain't nothing like new, but he showed his vulnerability. I feel like that's going to be my own personal class. I feel like that's going to be a. I love that album so much, bro. It's my favorite album. And I feel like favorite that album. album yes. Want to push to you? Yes. All right, bro. Let's get, let's get to the real problem. What's the real problem? The Black Panther album. Yeah, like, yeah, that's that's the. Me? Yeah, that what's what did it did different? Like that, it just. Not, that's not here's, even the, here's the here's the intro, here's the intro paragraph. Shut your boy out. I like that he's doing his work. Yeah, because I like that. You know, he's he's getting his you know credibility up and yeah, stuff fuck like that. that nigga. Man, look at, like at Taj. Damn, I forgot. Hey, but bro, I'll look relax. it up. I, I, I don't want to smoke, bro. I'm no, bro. but this is the first intro paragraph to why Black Panther should be a cl- can be a classic. Disney hired a rapper to not only do a song for a superhero movie, but they had him curate a soundtrack for a superhero movie. That's it. The re- that's the reason this is a classic in the making. I'm done. Bro, what's their names had fucking Eminem do that for Venom? No, but he's oh, saying man. Disney though. No, no. It's nasty. Mm-hmm. And, that, that, that's Sony. That Sony used to have three <laughs> six, didn't they? Can we- Comment on that, send me that link. I would be like, that makes no sense. <laughs> no, that was like the first paragraph, but you know they did. Yeah. The little yeah. But yeah, man. I feel like potential class albums of this year. I don't know. Personals and uh I don't know, what do we have that's something that was just refreshing, bro? That could be just considered like, yeah, that's a fucking classic. I don't think this we I don't, I don't think we had I don't think we had nothing like that since like to pimp a butterfly. Shaq? Wait, bro. What about for your eyes only? Yeah, Boy, good. chill. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, I know I niggas be yeah, quick to call it something a classic, but I feel like I think only the one album to me that was like, okay, I feel like the Pippa Butterfly was like classic in like the last yeah. five years. Or yeah, like, like, but yeah, no, nah, like what your homie saying? Oh, no, I just dissed him by me, man. But uh, oh, I, I, I the writer T A G T A J the writer. He gonna put him in the link to his ad or whatever. Mm-hmm. Everybody but yeah, no, like uh, I see what he's saying. I don't think it's criteria for a classic. That is like it's a moment. I think not a classic though. Like it's a moment that this is the first time niggas they've had like an artist curate. The last time I could think of them having an artist curate an album for like 
a fucking superhero movie, especially like a big artist who went Prince did Batman, which that's a great soundtrack. Great. But so I think that's important, especially one. also that a uh, fucking. You know, Black Panther, black movie, black director. They got a you know a black dude to fucking curate the album. Most of the niggas on that album are black people too. Mm-hmm. Like that shit's cool. All that. Like I do understand that's a moment. We'll probably talk about it later. But the album itself, yeah. You know, yeah. the Black Panther song's good. Uh, the one with fucking S O B R B E. It's a couple of good songs on there. But I think musically it just don't mm-hmm. hold up. Especially that uh, what was that one song with J Rock? King's that Dead. King's Dead bullshit. You make that album the fuck out of here. <laughs> I think it, it, that that put the fucking uh the fucking doodoo icing on the doodoo cupcake that was J Rock in 2018. Mm. J Rock got a great album this year. So no, f out of here. Oh yeah, can we talk about how a lot of them rap album uh, fucking journalists they just be dick eating and putting albums they didn't really like on a top list. Just like yeah, why Victory Lap or Redemption on everybody's list? Hey, them shits was not even good. Well, Victory Lap is good. I'm, I'm not saying that was. Just, Redemption I, is a trash pack. Though. I don't see why. Even in the run of gangster rap. I don't see why. Re- I don't see why Redemption is in the, no five. I don't even see why Victory Lap's in a five, bro. That I can understand because, you it's know, Nipsey Hussle's like the underground Kendrick. Nah, that nigga's on. It's a good album, album, but I don't. Nah, nah, I don't see what people see. What's so. It's a good album. Okay, you don't got songs that's bad. The rapping wasn't all. It, all right, he's motivational, blah blah blah. But the rapping yeah. wasn't like the they flows. Is just, Nipsey Hussle to me, he's a more like he's a cooler figure than he is a, like a rapper. Cash Doll a better rapper than that nigga. Who? Cash Doll. All right, bro. Right. Bro, Cash Doll had to let Big Sean fuck to get a feature on his. Go. Oh, that that album. thing too. Big. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's hey, too good. Whatever. Hey, but, uh, Detroit. Hey, you can't say she ain't got flows. She got different flows. I, 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 How I, many flows you seen Nipsey use? I am good. That's facts. He, he only got that one kind that's of beat too. Saying. That, bro. But uh, yeah, nigga, that album just wasn't varied enough to like for niggas to like it as much. Maybe I'm being a hater, but still. No, I feel I, like every year. I understand y'all. I feel like every year or every couple years, there's albums that like. Niggas say, oh, this is great, and so they pretend to like it a lot more than they do. Right. I think it's more of the, was it the grind behind it to where it reached is what made it even better. Because yeah. if he was just to drop this and he didn't really have nothing behind him like that, then, it, you know, it just... Like, I feel like hard. niggas fuck with Nipsey more because he has control of his own music, which is very impressive, or he sold his albums for a lot of money because he owns them. So he That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I've been that, waiting on this album for eight years. Yeah, that shit is cool and all that, but the album, you know... Picture Relapse coming soon. That yeah, was 2010. Nigga, yeah, it was, it was straight. No soon. No, but I'm saying, if he didn't have any of that behind him, obviously this album wouldn't be at the level... All right, then what is it. the excuse for Redemption? Redemption's a good album. Don't ever... Don't know what even like J-Rock. Yeah. I like J-Rock. But oh, actually, that brings me to what I was gonna say. Another thing, I think Schoolboy Q is a better artist than J Cole. I like Schoolboy Q over J. Cole. I think he a better storyteller. I think he picked better beats and he got more flows. Who disagrees? I don't disagree. All right. I just All feel right. like J Cole probably can out rap him. All right. Hey, we win. Yeah. <laughs> no, I agree with you when you said artist, but I think no, yeah, I'm saying if they mean, rap. Yeah, I MC, yeah. you didn't disagree with me. That's why. That's why I said we win. We, we all, you know, we all here. Okay, yeah. Shaq, you not gonna say nothing. You like yeah, I think Q? for the. I like school work you, but I mean, I like that. Yeah. For the last thing, you want to explain why? For the, for the. Why, I like J. Cole? He just said why you like J Cole? You know, know, it's got no, I like J Cole too. Oh. Yeah. So like, for the last thing we're gonna talk about, uh, did you hear about uh, Carlton suing Fortnite? Yeah. They yeah. Alfonso. They said the backpack nigga soon. Uh, yeah, no, I was gonna go over. There's three of them now. Alfonso Ribeiro suing Fortnite for stealing Carlton. his Carlton dance. That one, I think that's a pretty clean slam dunk for that nigga. Cause he has enough money to, like sue them niggas. And I mean, the freaking dance is called a Carlton dance. Right. Like, uh, two milli finally put in his lawsuit. He's suing him for stealing a milli rock. Hey, shout out to Joe Budden for that, my nigga. You know what I mean? Put in the work. I think the milli out. He did though. He's been talking. My homie to was telling me that that one's not gonna matter as much. I kind of agree with him because yeah. I feel like two million. He ain't got the bread to go to war with Fortnite lawyer. Like Epic Games, them niggas are huge. Yeah. 
They gonna fucking be. They gonna be like, hey, let's get all these courthouses. He just started suing them niggas. Yeah, he just put in like a lawsuit two, two, like, like a week two million. Ago. They trying yeah. to do it, so I think. But yeah, yeah, nigga, he probably had to get the bread together just to file that shit. So <laughs> I feel bad for two million because that nigga, everybody. I mean, Cardi fucking robbed the shit out of him. I mean, he didn't really steal a steal, he but just like, said yeah, robbed, it got. It, he shouted him yeah, out. Niggas, but it niggas, wasn't a shout out. Yeah, niggas care more I about that. The only reason I think the only reason I think two million got a chance is because. His name is also in the dance, and like, there's proof that he created this shit. Uh, for that backpack kid, he ain't winning shit. He ain't meant that dance. Bro, he nigga. like seven seasons too late. Yeah, I mean, do you know, <laughs> did you see that old TMZ video? Huh? They had from uh, like six months ago where he was like, "Oh, I don't care. I'm just glad they put the dance in the game." Nigga, you play the game. Yeah, Why are you like, trying to sue him? Yeah, now. Sure, because you trying to get mean, some bread, dude. Hey, nigga, chat, you should have done that shit the chat, first bro. season of hey, Fortnite. He doing that typical white people shit where they see some black people doing some smart and like. This he gonna win it and everybody else gonna lose that. <laughs> That's the real ending of this shit. What's the worst part? You know what, guys? I didn't even want the money. I just wanted the credit. Yeah, he gonna be the one. He like they took my my minds first. But now nah, I think I think that nigga. I, I think Carlton. Carlton, I think he get paid. He, he don't get paid. Yeah, he but got the. Was, those two niggas, they done. It's too late, bro. This is my this is my thing. Cause I was having this, we was having this conversation that uh, now I've got the name of the place. We was having this conversation. I said, well, they had to split that money up with who, like, with the label or the studio that they was under when they did that dance. Because, say, Black Boy JB, he sues for the shoot dance, right? Yeah. He made the shoot. I'm saying if he did. No, that means. Oh, Black Boy, well, yeah, he was saying he might want to go after him too. I forgot oh, about yeah, him. Yeah, but I'm saying. Wait, who would you say? The label has nothing to do with it because if they shoot the music video with their money and stuff like that. No, it's, it's, no, 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 you, you could like trademark a dance move and stuff. I think Carlton actually did. That's why I think he's probably. Oh, playing. okay. Then see, that's different. That's why I was asking. That backpack kid didn't even make up that dance, bro. Like, there was a video in 2011 of somebody else doing that shit. So I don't know. I understand how he's going to get money. Did they trademark it? No. I don't think he trademarks it either. How would you even make trademark the dance? What, which dance? The flop? Just like a dance in general. Oh, and that's happened before. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure Michael Jackson trademarked the moonwalk. Yeah, that's. What the, oh yeah, y'all see? Yeah, you could trademark some weird shit, but nah, that flaws kid, he ain't winning. Shit, expect, bro. They gonna put that video up in court where he's like, "Oh, I'm just glad they put it in the game." Niggas gonna be like, "All right, dog, get out of here." <laughs> uh, Block boy, I don't think he's gonna sue them either because he seemed like a dumb nigga, so he probably don't see how much money he can make. Two milli, I feel bad for you, pimp. Sober, <laughs> Carlton, you you might got some bread for them niggas. So he might got some bread. He got the bread. But yeah, bro, this gonna be a fucking epic lawyers when all them niggas come in. Is this gonna be an epic lawsuit? Nah, bro, this gonna be the lawyers seeing them cases come in. Disgusting black creatures, get out of my <laughs> yo! That was the fourteen twenty three TV podcast. <laughs> Closing statements, guys. <laughs> Jack, what you gotta say? Sauce Malone, now you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you did, boy. Hey, fuck them slave play niggas. <laughs> Disgusting black creatures, get out of my sight. You can uh, check us out on SoundCloud at a uh, fourteen twenty three TV the podcast or fourteen twenty three. You can search us on SoundCloud, and either either of them is gonna pop up. You can search us on uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Spotify, Stitcher, Breaker, Pocket Cast, and a Radio Public, or was it? It's Radio something. But we also have the YouTube channel, fourteen twenty three, Space Bar, TV. Uh, we just put a bless you. We just put a video up of Kane eating two cheesecakes. People tell me it's hilarious, so I guess y'all, you guys should check that out. All the podcast episodes so far, except for this one, obviously, is up on the YouTube channel. So in case you don't want to stream it, you just want to throw it up on your TV or just have it on in the background. You can check it out right there. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching or listening, whatever.